This is the IT in the D, only on RawRadioX.com. Conan, what is best in life? To crush your enemies, see them driven before you, and to hear the lamentation of your women. That is good. We interrupt this program to bring you a special news bulletin. The wave of murder which is sweeping the eastern third of the nation is being committed by creatures who feast upon the flesh of their victims. Because of the obvious threat to untold numbers of citizens and because of the crisis which is even now developing, this radio station will remain on the air day and night. This station and hundreds of other radio and TV stations throughout this part of the country are pooling their resources through an emergency network hookup to keep you informed of all developments. I just, I'm bored. What plaything can you offer me today? Hello, I'm Dr. Sheldon Cooper. Welcome to Sheldon Cooper Presents Fun with Flags. Excuse me, sir, is this the Delta House? Sure, come on in. The following program is intended for mature audiences. I was banging oh, on the yeah. way. Woo! I may <laughs> have to wipe the geek off. Woo! Yeah, You're in your underwear, I'm in my underwear. Here, let's hang out. Woo! Am I the meanest? Sure enough. Am I the prettiest? Show up! Am I the baddest mofo low down around this time? Show up! Well, who am I? Show up! The Shogun of Harlem. You're so white right now. <laughs> Woo! Shut up. Stop talking. <laughs> Woo! How are we not strength. sponsored by PBR and Slim Jimmy? <laughs> I, Damn I, I, it. I, <laughs> take him to Detroit. No! No, not Detroit! No! No, please! Anything with that! No! I used to hang out at the Mogumbo Bar. It was a rough place, the seediest dive on the wharf, populated with every reject and cutthroat from Bombay to Calcutta. It's worse than Detroit. You will never find the more wretched hive of scum and villainy. Then don't come! Shut up! Yeah, I can't take that position. Woo! Uh, I don't know who brought that bell in, but Bob's got a new toy. <laughs> Guess Captain so. Soundboard doesn't know how to run the soundboard. Woo! Are we at a break yet? Woo! So... What would you little maniacs like to do first? The question isn't what are we going to do. The question is what aren't we going to do? Ludicrous speed! Go! We're and live. welcome. We're live to the IT and the D show. The Halloween presented edition. by <laughs> DetroitNet.org here in Raw Radio Studios in the Russell Industrial Center in beautiful Detroit, Michigan. This is uh, episode 17. I saw her standing there. Yeah. Or, or she's only. Or, yeah, yeah, she's only, right. We're, we're, we're still trying to figure out. We have like four names for every show. <laughs> this one's, uh, yeah, she's only 17. So, uh, yeah, getting up here, there's no parking in the Russell because why is there no parking? Apparently, uh, allegedly, there's someone filming a video, but it is what it is. Oh, yeah. with two initials uh, as one name, uh, M and M. Is making a video here, so yeah, we. So, uh, so says the uh, the security guard downstairs. And we are lucky. Not really that, sure if that's a story or yeah, not. Exactly. <laughs> Why can't we park your M and M's here? It's cool, you know. Bruce Springsteen limo yeah. out front. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice reference. So yeah, so we got um we got a cra- tons of stuff we need to talk about. We got a uh, Halloween coming up. Uh, me and Dave are still cloudy because we uh, tailgated yesterday the Lions game. Um, and what happened, Bob? We left with a minute and twelve seconds to go. <laughs> we, had, you know, to my defense, you, you and half the stadium apparently. To to me, no. To my defense, Tulio's next to me, and we're just bitching the whole last drive when you Sta- were half a stadium. Stafford threw that that awful pass on fourth and twelve, and we're like, you know what? And we're the last row, we're the end of the row, and we're like, let's just get the hell out of here. And then as we're driving, there's beer back at the car, life's good. Let's not deal with this nonsense anymore. Yeah. We're out. So we're in the cab. I'm in the front seat, and uh, you can hear like. People start beeping their horns. They get the radio blaring. I'm like, I think they're driving. Oh yeah, there's like high fives and rioting and taking place in the street, which you know could be could be good, could be bad in downtown Detroit. But so I guess you guys looked at each other and went, "Aw, are you? Yeah, no, turn around. (laughs) Yeah, no, we smacked the cab driver in the back of the head and said, "Turn on 97.1 quick." (laughs) So then we're celebrating in the parking lot, and from what became like the walk of shame back to our car, now we're heckling the cowboy fans walking back. It turned into like, you know, you want to start a riot? Oh, absolutely. Oh, Bob instantly became. 
nicknamed that guy. It was hilarious. Yeah, you still yeah, wearing the snuggly? No, I didn't. Yeah. I was so angry. I did not want to wear the snuggie. I wore a snuggie, a Honolulu blue snuggie the whole game. It's kind of like <laughs> beginning to. It's a bad habit I got into. Oh yeah, and, and it instantly went from you know the walk of shame into the cab to you know, taunting yeah, anybody in a Cowboys jersey that was walking by. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> they were chanting na 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 hey hey goodbye like in right. the stadium like you know there was probably what maybe eight ten thousand Cowboy fans there yeah which always drives me nuts. It's like so where are they busting them in from? Uh, Dallas. <laughs> That's a long bus ride. <laughs> no, absolutely. It's like, yeah, nice flight home there, buddy. Yeah. No, we have Crickets. our we have our annual like uh I was telling Dave we um Dave enabled me to run a Lions message for him for like the last twelve years we've been friends right. with like the, the smart ass guys. This is before social media, before, before Facebook. Before everything. <laughs> so like we you know, once a year we pick a game and uh, like guys flew in from uh St. Louis, drove in from New North Carolina, came in from Dallas, you know. So yeah, we had a we had a good old time. Yeah, it was. I mean, it was it was a very. I mean, it was it's a great time, and it's one of those things where it's it's kind of become the tradition where even I, who could really seriously care less about football, you know, I, I go You're to one hang. of the people who are like, let's get out of here. With no, two minutes I, left. like he wanted to leave with six minutes left in the fourth, so that's his thing. Well, I wanted to leave in the say, first quarter. That yeah. I was done. You didn't even want to be at the game. You I wanted, didn't. You, you wanted to you, you wanted to stay at Eastern Market. Exactly. <laughs> Just leave. I'll, you know what? I'll guard the beer. You know We're how <laughs> you know how bad he doesn't like football. He was going to get. He's a wearing sick, a hockey jersey right now. He was wearing no no. He was wearing the wrestling hockey jersey and going to have a smoke on the other end of the Ford Field nice. and talking wrestling with people. That's how much he dislikes football. <laughs> exactly. I was talking wrestling. That's how. Yeah, with, with some <laughs> random guy that was in town from Canada because I was wearing my XICW jersey. Oh, of course you were. And, oh, of course. And uh, you know, he was like, "Hey, he's like, you know, I really want to ask you, but you know, he's like, what's the deal with that jersey? You know, I see wrestling. It's, you know, it's an interesting conversation. We got to talking about you know downtown Detroit and all the cool stuff going on. And right. so yeah, the twenty minute smoke break later, I'm like, oh, all right, yeah, whatever. Yeah, it's football. I'll be yeah. back in time for halftime. But the running gag is I forget something every year. I usually I'm the guy that packs everything up, packs the tables, packs the grill, makes the chili, brings the whatever. Yeah, so last year he forgot the chili. Last year I forgot the you chili. Forgot the I forgot chili? the chili on the stove. On the stove. <laughs> While it's cooking. <laughs> and I brought the Your grill. Your house must have smelled great. Oh, it was amazing. Um, And I forgot the propane last year. So I brought the grill out. <laughs> No propane. I'm like, so I had to like beg the neighbors, can I cook my bratwurst on your Because right, we were destroying him, and literally he walked over with the hangdog head slump, tail between his legs. <laughs> and I, I'm not going to cook anything for my friends, but can I just cook my stuff? Because screw those guys. So this year I made like six <laughs> lists. I did not want to get heckled. Oh yeah, and and tagged me in, on Facebook with one of the lists because he's like he's like yeah no. okay list number four to remember click yeah yep. then I forgot one thing which was the spatula and the griddle which to is cook with the brat the burgers on brat. which is two things yeah two things <laughs> <laughs> so but you didn't forget your snuggie no but so that the brats were um, burnt on the outside frozen in the middle which were amazing they loved them. Um, yeah, <laughs> they, they were bratsic, bratsical. They, they were awful. Yeah, no, no, the first two that pulled off were just god awful. They're like, no, guys are. Yeah, them. how how can this be burnt and frozen? frozen. <laughs> how does the, that work? The, the you underneath, discovered a new element. Yeah. <laughs> you, couldn't, can, you couldn't do that again if you tried. No, no, no. no. They look like hockey pucks too. Then, um, then when you complain about them not being cooked enough, I will burn the living hell out of them. So right. now I'm like, you complain about my cooking, I make them worse. <laughs> 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 All right, so you know, just to handle some business before we get too deep, and and I really should just add this into the intro at this it, it point. Really, yeah, so uh, the, I'm queued up, ready to go. Right, exactly. So the phone number is three one three four six two zero one zero seven. No one's gonna call. And you can hit us on Twitter at at it and the d. No one's gonna add us. Now we got a tweet. We got a tweet today. I'm, I'm we already did. Oh, we've I, actually I, had several. Yeah, uh, from Mr. Preneur. Mr. Preneur. <laughs> Mr. Preneur. <laughs> That's even funnier. We, we, we love Mr. Preneur. Oh, yeah. And Facebook is facebook.com slash no. IT in the D. No one's going to like us. Speaking of Mr. Preneur. Mr. Preneur. Jeremiah meets us up um, from, hell yeah, Detroit, right? Right. He meets us up at the tailgate, and he goes, you do realize everyone calls them Mr. Preneur now? <laughs> I said, hey, are you kidding me? He goes, yeah, after the show, he goes, it's become like a running gag. That's one small victory oh, yeah. for us. He's like, dude, he's like, every time I send her an email or like a Facebook message he's like i just type mission Pren- and then just hammer on the r and let it sit there for three pages <laughs> we have rewritten your alma mater thank you thank you so amanda hates us right now well no i'm like, I'm like honestly i said amanda should just embrace it and, and right. you know and register, change it change it no and, and register mission with like nine rs.com and have that be like the uh, you know reviewing all the new bars and breweries and that all kind right. of stuff that's opening <laughs> they'd be a hit on pirate day all right. <laughs> Because Nelly was Nelly the mentor. Who Nelly? 
You know, right? Her. Hair. <laughs> <laughs> right. right. That one joke that just okay. kind of flies over everyone. So, ladies right. and gentlemen, Billy from Social Comedians <laughs> in the house. How we doing? Yeah, thanks yeah. for the call. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and typically, they get on me, so thank God you started the the, the, the mess. So we got um we got a ton of crap to talk about today. Oh my um, God, we had so. Can we talk? Can we talk about LinkedIn, please? Oh, LinkedIn, absolutely. Please. Let's talk about LinkedIn. But but first, I I really think that we should talk about Adobe for a moment oh, oh, God. because Idiot. because it links into the speaking of LinkedIn, it links into the conversation that we were talking about last oh. week with Adobe. So you'll recall, you know, Adobe got. Um, uh, hacked and you know all the user details got released and 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 Jeff was one of those people that got that email on day one right and so Jeff just got his physical letter in the mail to notifying him of it and what what did it say to Jeff <laughs> well we were joking uh, was it last week last week of, last week about uh, experience so I'm I'm getting this official letter from from Adobe and I'm reading it and the third paragraph in what happened to Experian though for and if anyone didn't didn't yeah anyone listen. who didn't let, listen last week so Experian Exper- basically one sold, of the three credit bureaus yeah one of the three Three major credit bureaus sold five hundred thousand. They were duped, right, by a hacking it, group. It, 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 I don't even know that it was duped. duped. I'm, I'm going with it was bad process control because you, you had, had a sales guy take a PO and run. Right? <laughs> yeah. You really? You that's had, really what it boils you down had a to. Website right, is Experian hurting that much for money? I, I made mean, come quota. On. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> I made the front page. <laughs> right. So, so I get this letter from Adobe. You know, this is like a couple weeks after right. you know, the the email saying, you know, Maya Coppola, you know, our, we got we got hacked. Move. Yeah, our, yeah. Our hack, you, know, you know, check your, you know, check your credit card. So I get this physical letter in the mail from Adobe. You know, it's essentially the same content from the le- from the email, with the addition of this paragraph talking about, you know, we're really sorry. You know, this is totally our fault. You know, as as a gesture of good faith, we're going to give you one free uh, uh, subscription to Experian Credit Monitoring Service. Yeah, which and yeah. I, I'm reading it. I had to read it twice because I thought it was a joke. Right. So, and, you know, to finish that off. So, yeah, I mean, Experian, you know, last week we were talking about it, sold 500,000 <laughs> identities, names, addresses, SSNs, the whole nine yards. I'm like, this is a topic for to a, a website out of Singapore that's notorious for identity theft. You know what that reminds me of? <laughs> when I um... So Adobe's telling me to check my credit service. <laughs> this well, and, well and the, la- the laughable part is just last week when the whole Experian story broke, we were joking. I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm sure it has nothing to do no. with the <laughs> credit monitoring services that Experian wants you to buy from them. You know what that reminds me of is when I went to uh, Vegas and I bought that can of Illustra Pringles and it made bad things happen. And then I wrote a letter talking about those things. And, and, made, and then you called me from the bathroom to what? ask me about the products that did you I, sell. You know, the Illustra- I don't ever want you to call me from the bathroom. No, I did. I did call Dave. But uh, <laughs> So I write a letter to Pringles and I was very descriptive. No, it, was, it was actually for, to help him on his sales call. He's like, I just just have a minute. Stop well, it talking. Starts, yeah, I, I just have a minute. You know, and he rattles off this question. I'm like, dude, are you all right? He's like, I gotta go. Alestra Pringles. Click. And I'm like, <laughs> so I wrote a letter to Pringles, and I, and I was, I, I made it one of those funny letters. This is like a scene from uh, summer school. Oh, absolutely. And then what do I get? Like two yeah, weeks later, it was glasses. more like the scene from Dumb and Dumber. Is oh, absolutely. <laughs> I was. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, I get a letter from Pringles two weeks later. It's for a coupon for a can of Pringles. And I'm like, that's amazing. That's what I want right now. It's one of the small small cans. <laughs> I'm still sucking my thumb for the experience I had from your product. <laughs> so there's, you know... So, <laughs> you know, the, the segue into LinkedIn. So, you know, we, we've got a couple of blogs out there on the site about, you know, various reasons that LinkedIn They are sucks. digging themselves into their own grave. They they're, do not want to. It is unbelievable how the bad fact, they're becoming. The fact that I, the, I, I shot it out the other day, they have a $27 billion market cap yeah, right Which now. just makes us They're doing Appar- what? Apparently, we're doing it wrong. <laughs> we, uh, something. We say that daily. <laughs> you know what I forgot, too? I said, That's our new tagline. We're doing it wrong. Right. Why did they get rid of their event plugin? Because isn't that the point of LinkedIn to connect with people? I thought like, that was... I, honestly, it... it uh, yeah, I remember. We, we, used, we used a ton of... That was the first reason why LinkedIn sucked. Was right. when they got, well, when we they were got just talking about this pre-show. They should have bought Meetup. That yeah. would have been the perfect yeah. combination. Great yeah. time. Yeah. So, so they introduced... So I found that they introduced intro to the world today. Was it yeah. today or this no, week? No, it was, it was last week. So people it, were making fun of it, like within hours of it being re- introduced. So for the yeah, I was gonna say, does, uh, what is it now that you have to you download a you, native client? It's, it's into, the app. You yeah. download an app. It's for iOS. It's for Android, and it essentially redirects all e- incoming and outgoing email from your mobile device through LinkedIn server. So it's like Secure Twenty Four for LinkedIn for your. 
Yeah, and then all your email are belong to LinkedIn, which is just awesome. That's yeah. And I don't understand why anyone would knowingly download an app that would release all the APIs from your phone. Knowingly is the keyword there. Yeah. Well, yeah, because I mean, it's it's all the people that don't know any better. It's you know, okay, yeah, you know, LinkedIn wants to enhance my experience, whatever. It's you know, good. Oh, for I don't me. understand what it's enhancing. It's like, all right, so I'm connected with you. I'm connected with Bill. I'm connected with Bob. It, What's it going to show me? A little badge next to your little picture on my address book saying, "Hey, we're connected." Yeah, I mean, it, how no, is that helping? No, me? it literally parses through the emails, whatever any emails that you it's get. Pulling keywords too, I read. Yeah, and and it it goes ahead and it pulls in LinkedIn profiles. But that's that, into that's your helping email. them. That's not enhancing my LinkedIn experience. Well, uh, Jay, but it's, it's not about us. I'm playing, yeah, exactly. playing it's, devil's it's, advocate. It's, yeah. <laughs> It's it's yeah. If you figured out with LinkedIn, and we were talking about that too, Jeff. I said someone's got to write a better LinkedIn, it, and he's right like, exactly well, how. And I said, well, MySpace went away, Friendster went away for the likes of Facebook. I go, someone, I go because here's the thing. I've been getting hammered the last two weeks from Indian guys like connecting with me, and I don't get it. Um, I'm getting hammered by people that want to sell to Cisco, and I'm like, I'm getting I'm a, a lot of right. Eastern European stuff, which I've not got any. Of. I've yeah, I'm getting hammered with those lately. But it's like they're they're you know people are hitting me for like oh yeah we want to sell to Cisco I'm like do you realize I'm a rep like what am I gonna do? Um, well they've butchered their UI to the point where their mobile interface is, is more attractive to use than yep. the actual website itself. You still can't remove users for to save your life. You oh it, it takes like, removing contacts. Yeah, yeah. yeah it takes like seven clicks to remove a contact. Did you see the new contact layout? It's worse than it ever was. Yes, it's like uh, the postcard look from uh, Outlook instead of like the. You know, you can't even. Uh, I will. Ha- I will uh, hand them this. They're, they are listening to whoever is designing their mobile apps because they just released an update to their iPad app, and it's light years better than what it was even a week ago. It, it's, nice. It, yeah, it, and it's much better. Well, but, but I mean, that's the point. I mean, it's you know, if if your mobile UI is that much better than your desktop UI, the hell. But yeah. I said if somebody builds a better LinkedIn when they can safeguard, like almost like a three strikes and you're out. Well, you that's know, what for we the, were talking about. You know, it, it's for the, the guys spamming and the guys connecting to randoms. Um, well, but there was actually getting, there was actually a blog a blog post about that today where you know somebody was saying they you know they they keep getting their account locked down because they're using link they're using the features that LinkedIn tells them to use. You know, so that very and first they're using thing, them excessively. Well, no, cuz I mean it's it's that very you know cuz I get one, you know, that usually mentions one of you two guys names at least on a daily basis um, that says, "Hey, you know, Bob found contacts by importing his email oh, yeah, contacts or Jeff did not." Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And yeah. so no, what so what what this person was blogging about it phasers on stun there, Captain Sorry. Sales guy. Um Oh, yeah. No, but I mean, it's, you know, they said, yeah, so I, I used it. And so it automatically, you know, it goes through your Gmail or whatever your, you know, your email yep. address is. Whatever, yeah. And it uh, sends whatever you out, give access. Right. And it sends out the generic blanket, hey, so and so, you well, know, wants all, to connect with you APIs on LinkedIn. Do that. I mean, Yahoo does that. I'm right. all of them do that. But the problem is, is that, you know, if you get enough, I don't know this person or, you know, report you as You got to get blacklisted. They have to. You do. But that's, that's the thing. They lock your account down at that point. Right. It's, Kind of Similar to what Facebook does, right? No. Yeah. 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 Sending out friend requests or anything like that. Yeah. yeah if you grant uh, Facebook access to your address book, it'll do the same exact thing. Yeah. But if you spend too much time, if you, let's say you create a new account on Facebook and you send too many friend requests, yep. they lock your account down. Yep. I mean, yeah, I saw it really. Yeah. Is that is that a duration yeah. thing? Is that a time thing? That's... Oh, you know, it, like because I mean, it happened. You know, me with my you know gaming addiction and all that stuff that I had for the last yeah, you're a hundred different u- user IDs. Well, no, but I mean, even you know, <laughs> when I just had when I just had the one, you know, that I you know that became over you know overrun and obsessed with gaming. Right. That's that. I mean, that happened to me all the time. I mean, I was you know because of all the you know the gaming groups and all that stuff, I was getting. 100, 200 friend requests a day. Right. Oh, God. And no matter how you lock your account on this, so that, well, saw, that particular right. idea probably was wide open. I saw somebody post today on uh, on LinkedIn. It's like, I hit 4,000 <laughs> connections. Yay. Oh, and speaking of which, why? And you know what? I wanted to send them LinkedIn. It's not a video game. Not a video why, so yeah. bad. Why I've people, sent that, why that post out so many times. LinkedIn. What? Why are people posting memes on Where? LinkedIn? I don't see any. I, Seriously? It, oh, yeah. I, it's Is that tipping point? More more. So it's totally jumped the shark. Yeah. I'm seeing those stupid news articles like, why doesn't Zuckerberg quit? It's like, what? Oh, yeah. The LinkedIn leaders articles? Yeah. I, yeah, yeah. I'm so well, done that's with That's what we were talking already. about. Like, you know, to replace LinkedIn, it, that would be a tall order because it's so ingrained now. Plexo it, was before LinkedIn, right? Everyone, yeah, but the recruiting industry now is so neck deep into LinkedIn. But I, they were on Plexo. You just, it, again, it's, there's, um, What's the movie? Coach Carter. He's like, you just cut our two best 
play, basketball players. Who's going to score for us? He's like, well, the next two best guys. Right. And it's really what it boils down to is you get rid of LinkedIn, fine. Even though the recruiting, dude, the, the, the people change in a second. You tell them Facebook's dead. We're using everyone's on Tumblr now. Gone. Well, you, you know, know, you look at you know. And, so the adoption talk, rate's got to be exponential. Well, you look at what's going on with Facebook. The the teenagers, tw- the sub twenty five crowd. I, they're, they're, they're done. They're done with Facebook. Well, but I was, I was just going into that. So the you yeah. know the adoption rate on Facebook with so you know, that means the, they got a five year shelf life at best. Well, but yeah, that's there's why a lot of phantom accounts on Facebook well, right now. There always has been. Um, but I mean, they've you know that's why the whole you know hey they opened it up so that you know posts become public you know from a certain age on and they're you know they're going to lower the age. <laughs> and below. Jimmy Kimmel was just talking about that, right? Facebook so, changes their privacy profile and and everyone complains about it for five minutes and then ignores it. Right. <laughs> well, no, but I mean, so you know, it's you know, basically, you know, so if you were thirteen, you could sign up for a Facebook account, but right. everything was locked down. You know, and it, and, much it, and it was still locked down until you were sixteen. Well, now they've made the change where if you're sixteen, you can now choose to have things public. Well, you're a social media guy. You're probably smarter about this than I am. No, I. You know, it's. Um, I don't think they're ready. No. You know that. When you're putting, you don't know how to use social media yet. You're still sort of. It's My daughter's those, not going to use social media until she's thirty. <laughs> <laughs> but we talked about this I'm before we before we came in. I mean that that awkwardness between yep. the ages of you know thirteen and eighteen and Let still be kids. You, yeah, yeah. And there's just so much that comes along with the responsibility of knowing what should I publish, what shouldn't I put out there. Yep. Well, I mean, and that just feeds in, you know, we were having the, you know, the, the link I posted earlier today where it said, you know, there was a study that said you're supposed to basically lock your kids down to oh, two hours. hours. Yep. Well, it's two hours of screen time. And if you have girls, lock them in the basement until they're at least 30 Forever. or 40. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I, don't, I don't know why. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why my wife thinks that I'm kidding. Every time I say we're going to I'm going to lock my daughter in a room until menopause. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I don't know why she have, thinks I'm kidding. You know, I'll, I'll admit I, I skimmed through that article when, when they said screen time. Did they say any type of screen? Right. Was, was, so it, was it cumulative? So TV, it's, iPad, yeah. iPad. I, I yeah, so not whatever. two hours of TV, two hours of computer. Right. No, it was two, two hours, hours of, of everything. So my right. kids do an hour of SpongeBob before they even go to school in the morning. Right. Oh yeah, yeah. My, my daughter. Oh, apparently, that makes you a terrible parent. Oh, it does. Yeah. Yeah, right. but how interesting is that though? I mean, it it we're multi device generation, right. right? I mean, it's you're consuming media on an iPad, on an iPhone. Well, but yeah. and that was that was part of the study, and what it was yeah. talking about was you know it it's basically making kids more ADD. Like it, it's turning them into you know they need that constant stream of input and and you know the common God we've complained about this I can't we tell are you how the many board. times yeah. not only that but it it keeps them from learning how to interact with people in real life yeah we were talking about that last week. right becomes you know everything is a social media is becoming yeah, antisocial everything is a text or a Facebook post or an Instagram or a kick chat or this or that or the other thing and but yet you put them in a room together and. Well, didn't, nothing. Didn't, didn't SNL have a skit with uh, Justin Timberlake and uh, what's his name? They were doing the having a real life conversation. They kept hashtags. doing the ha- hashtag. Hilarious. Oh yeah, you know hashtag. Well, this is cool. Well, there was the there was the <laughs> South Park uh, when, when the internet went down. Um, and you I know, don't know how to communicate. Right. Well, and and you know Shelly, the you know Stan's older sister, had a you know had an internet boyfriend, and they actually you know the whole story was you know internet goes away, and so it was a very you know gold rush episode. They were trying to get out to California <laughs> way uh, where there might be some internet left, <laughs> um, and they actually well like and so they wound up at the same camp as you know her internet boyfriend's family happened to be. Nice. And so like they actually met each other in real life for the first time and couldn't talk to each other. <laughs> like they they like they had no idea how to actually interact with each other and that's what this is turning i think into. it's our own damn fault though i've gotten my kids every device known to man yep. and whatever th- I, they don't have that's my hand so i buy something when i get tired of i get it i give it to bo when bo doesn't use it because she's not a techie the kids get it so five minutes it's pretty much <laughs> so literally they have they don't know what they have between the tablet and the small tablet and the uh, book the e-reader and the computer. And the phone, you and know, the believe you me, I thought it was yeah. a great idea to get my daughter an iPad Mini last, last oh, Christmas. Yeah, thought, which, you know, which thought, brings us back to the why can't I lock my daughter out of my Netflix account exactly. conversation? <laughs> and of course, like an idiot, I go, you know, I go, why aren't you guys? So then here, yeah, you so missed that true. one. No, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I said, why aren't you guys using the computer? And like, well, Daddy, it's 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 breaks computer. all the computer. Yeah, exactly. The desktop, and I go, you know what? And I just it's went a screen of death. I did yeah. my classic Amazon. I buy you a new computer. It'll be here tomorrow from Amazon Prime. And I just installed it today, and now they're all excited. They're going to. That, that you didn't was have Mark come over and put it in for you. I no, no, I, that, I did I, this one myself. I love telling that story. Last year, when my daughter was in kindergarten, they've got you know the little Dell PCs or yep. whatever set up in the Say corner. Kindergarten. You know. Kindergarten, it's kinder- kindergarten, kindergarten, whatever. Kindergarten. So they're, you know, they got the little PCs in the corner, and she comes it's home and she said, and I'm like, so, words. so what was the special today? Oh, today was computer lab. You know, minor, you know, she's, you know, yeah, in school. And 
And she's like, well, you know, it was so frustrating, Dad. You know, the computer kept locking up. And she rolls her eyes and she says, it always locks up. It always locks up. And they're all running, you know, Windows 98 or, you know, XP or whatever right. it is. When I was your she's age, a, I used a Commodore Pet with a cassette. She was, she That's was right. Five. When I was your age, we didn't have Windows. Right, exactly. Like, yeah. you know, barely we had an Apple IIe or whatever it That's was. That's right. We had yeah. apples for the kids and we liked it. We played Lemonade Stand on a cassette. And I couldn't. Like, <laughs> <laughs> we all got dysentery and died on Oregon Trail three times a day. Oh, yeah. That's what we did. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Did you, did you get like dysentery? It's like pulling out a floppy disk and my daughter's like, what's that? Right. <laughs> Yeah, the good old days when, you know, plugging a computer into the TV wasn't an expensive option. It was the Didn't only they have way the, whole, the damn thing the, ran. I yeah. had the whole AB switch for the Commodore 64. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I did, too. Well, it's like we were at, uh, we were at Comic-Con. We were, Absolutely. Oh, yeah, we were at Comic-Con like three or four years ago, and I start drooling because a guy's got like a basically new in-box Atari 2600, uh, and I'm like, must wow. have, must have, must have, must have. And he put, like, Mr. K- like, and usually, like, I'm the one pulling him back from stuff. Right. He pulls me aside, and he's like, how are you going to hook that up to your computer there, genius? Or to your TV, genius? <laughs> yep. And I'm like, what are you talking about? I'm, and he's the like, Atari 2600 does no, not have an HDMI out. No, he's like, don't you remember? He's like, he's like, go look at the connector. And I'm like, oh, oh dude, it's those old fork things uh-huh. that uh-huh. you had to like screw into the back of the computer. Like, yeah. That was the AB switch. Oh, yeah. You have like, to go buy an AB switch yeah, from like, Radio Shack. Dude, well, <laughs> dude well, you probably can't even find a connector or an adapter to get from that anymore. Yeah, that's why <laughs> God made eBay. <laughs> right. I have one. Do you really? I do. I uh, in uh, wait travels. an AB switch connector or twenty Atari yeah, twenty six hundred actually both <laughs> right, uh, but I have no way to connect it to anything right. Uh, so I, I mean I have you know the paddles and the whole you know yeah because they're yep. everything yeah but there's just, no way to get from A to B. Yeah. See now Dave you might make fun of me about stuff but I was the first guy with a sixteen bit Nintendo that hooked it up to my uh, home stereo in my bedroom in my like an eight foot by six foot bedroom and had like an eight hundred watt Kenwood and had it piped in so I could play NHL ninety four like, in in, full stereo. Blast, in yeah. stereo on my wireless. Just to hear the words loudest edition of did it did did it did exactly <laughs> with my wireless. So everybody's like, I remember them screaming at me like, "Are you that lazy? You can't get up off your bed and lean closer to the video game?" I go, "No, I like nope. these." <laughs> now everyone, you know what I mean, right? Yeah, not saying, full circle. Are we? Uh, we on a break? We, on a break we actually are, and we, we talk get, about this we crap for any of the fun. We, stuff we got like we the first to. four lines of your cheat right. sheet there. We still right. can. We still can. Oh, yeah, so All we're right. gonna come back. Have, have we heard from Eric and Michelle? We have not. Are they still our girlfriends in Niagara Falls? That I swear to God, you just don't know them yet. Yep. <laughs> Trust us, they, they, they do exist. This is the IT and the D show. We'll be right back. I condemn you to living death, to eternal hunger for living blood. Staring at a wall, not seeing the wall, looking past the wall, looking at this night, inhumanly patient, waiting for some secret silent alarm to trigger him off. You know, Dave, um, we're back on the air. We're back up. We're back. This is the IT and the D show, uh, Raw Radio X Studios. Um, Yeah, during the break. Um, I don't know what music that was, but yeah, no. Billy's looking at me, going, um, "I want the original Thriller," and I'm like, "I want the original Bucketheads, the Bomb." I don't want them at the same time. Thanks. Dave. I, I warned you, the first break was for me. That, that's all that was. <laughs> did you make that mashup? I don't understand. <laughs> Please, God, no. Whoever did needs to go away. Hey, um, had the cool little clip from Scream in there. I'll take, no, that's fine. So this is episode. She's only seventeen. Screw you guys, I'm going home. <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting like nice. Beatles, Winger. Uh, she's no. Who's Winger? Is that? Uh, she's only seventeen. That Next was break. a huh. Next break. All right, all right. All right. All right. So uh, yeah, we've been talking. We could talk probably for three weeks on how bad LinkedIn sucks. Um, well, yeah, we hammered on that. But one of the things I really want to make sure we get to is you know. So we talked. You know, talked to some about kids and and technology and entitlement and all that fun happy crappy. Um, so there were actually two good stories that came, or actually one good story and one that wanted me to throw punch oh, God, somebody the football on a floor out of uh, mm-hmm. Texas. So the good story is that there is a children's youth football program in Texas uh, that has decided they are no longer going to hand out participation trophies. Good yes. for them. Good right. for them. Yay. Seriously. Wait, wait. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, definitely deserve it. 
you know, and they just said, you know, look, it's it's giving kids the wrong message that it's not just about just showing, for up. showing it's, up. Yeah, exactly. Right. You know, what do you get for fourth place in the Olympics? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> right. When we signed Gretchen up for soccer, the first, am I going to get a trophy? And I said, I, if you win, if you win, right? Yeah, you're not you going to get a ribbon. I go, listen, it's, it's you. Not that I pushed her to do it, but I said, you know, this is it's a good program. I really want you to be a part of it. And now she, she couldn't, I couldn't take her away if she tried. But yeah, and she hasn't gotten a trophy yet. But the fact of the matter, that was like the first thing. Am I getting? A it's trophy? something to drive for. You don't want to take that away from a kid. Yeah, exactly. It's supposed to be a goal, not an automatic. Right. They have the fundraisers exactly. at school, and like they gave away like a dodgeball this year, but they had to raise like fifty bucks. So I'm like, you know what? Here's a fifty dollar check. Just here's your. I could go get you that stupid ball at Meyer for a dollar, but <laughs> right, <here. laughs> right. Well, we well, we'll get to that conversation leading into some of the fun and excitement from yesterday shortly. Um, but no. So the other story that came out of Texas was so uh, high school football. Uh, one team annihilates other team, ninety one to nothing. Right. And dad of kid on the nothing team literally filed official bullying charges. Against the other team, can you say sore loser? Well, no, no. It's, it's what, you know, I read the story. Yeah, you have to understand the entire context. They pulled their first string guys after the first quarter. No, twenty-one plays. They pulled the starters. Yeah. no, I totally both get sides it. of the ball. I totally get um, it. They were playing freshmen. Um, you can't tell defense it was, it was, to let them go through. The game ended like a scrimmage because right. they're playing their fifth or sixth stringers. No, it's not like the kid that's dying of cancer. And they let him go through the line and score a touchdown for like his. I get that, right? Right. That wasn't the, like you got to tackle the guy. <laughs> they, they just got absolutely demolished. And yeah, the bullying charges. Well, yeah, and they all yeah because they said they, they went to all running plays and they were like, look, this is why we can't have nice things, right? And well, it, that's why they have mercy rules. Like we got we. I mean, how many times I got mercy when well, I was yeah, a kid? They, they went to a running clock. They went to you know they didn't stop the clock between. You know, for any reason, basically, um, and there's only so much you can do, and it it just it it yeah. it's one of those things where, like, you know, I'm sorry, bullying is actually, you know, it's like the whole when you start throwing false accusations of rape around, or you start throwing false accusations of you know child abuse or anything like that around. I could understand if the you quarterback, diminish, yeah, like bullying, like there really are you're people, diluting the whole point of it, yeah. right? There, you know, there's a girl that just threw herself off of a water tower because she was bullied incessantly for two years. I right? could understand That's bullying. I could Not understand your kids team getting their ass beat. If they were running the shotgun five wide and throwing the ball and, and you know, and triple tackling and crotch chopping and taunting, I could totally really? crotch chopping. Seriously, yeah. Bob. <laughs> I could that, totally that, see. that drop is at uh, 933. <laughs> yep. Make sure you grab that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I could totally see, like, okay, you got a case. But I mean, I think it went in front of the judge and he threw it out in like three minutes because it was just such a, an absolute, you know, Choke, just absolutely ridiculous. But I mean, you know. But again, I was I was happy to see the other, you know, the the other one in North Texas that was getting rid of the participation trophies because it is, you know, it, it, I've had the same thing with my kids. You know, and, and this gets back to what we were just talking about. There were kids roaming around Eastern Market yesterday with the. Uh, oh hey, no! You know, hey, buy a package of cookies. Buy a oh buy a the candy whole bar, you know, tug at the heartstrings. Yeah, you know, yeah. You know but, help my school. I need right. books. And you know, Bob and I are both kind of like on the same page. Where you know what? Okay, honey, what's the minimum level you have to hit in order to hit a prize? Here's a check. Yep. Um, don't, you know, don't bother anyone. Just be done with it and move on. I'm not taking this crap to work. I'm not, you know. That actually kind of bugs me is the whole Girl Scout cookie things and the and the parents we, take we the, have the, a we, truckload of them in our pantry. That's well, why no, we can't no, no, anything the, in there. The, the the parents take the the order form to the office and oh, leave, leave yeah. it on the coffee table. You know, here sign. You know, my kid's selling. You know, Girl Scout cookies. The worst no, the kid's like, not selling the, anything. You're doing it for them. Yeah, I don't mind the 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 Girl Scout cookies. Right, yeah. it's like three bucks a box. But like those, and you get like seven of them. The thirty dollar tubs of popcorn can go to hell. Oh my god, those right. are the most ridiculous things ever. Do you want to? Buy cashews, they're only like $82 for a package. Right. <laughs> what? <laughs> you know, and, and it's funny because we were just at Third Street and there's a box of those uh, Little Caesars pizza kits. Yep. Oh, yeah, and they're oh, like 20, 30 bucks forever. a piece. Have you, been, have you been hit with the, uh, the, with the uh, uh, ice cream cookie dough, the, the chocolate chip cookie dough? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, so, no, that's the thing. Did at, that that's once. the latest. One. At our house, we do, yeah, what's the minimum we have to buy? And, and, and we're right. like, here, well, we buy like $100 worth and then we hand it out to like friends and family. Yep. So there's like four. I can't put any beer in I my can't, I can't so put anything in my freezer because no. it's full of uh, plastic yeah. tubs of ice cream cookie You know what you're getting for Christmas from Bob. It's it's a, a ice cookie cream dough. cookie dough. Pizza, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Little Caesars pizza cookie. Well, the thing that's pizza even stupider, it, it well, the works pizza, out to The like, pizza gets I actually eat. <laughs> but it's it's like $7 for one, and i got to cook it myself. It's like I can get it for 5 bucks at this, down that's the street. Right. Yeah, that's right. like, I don't have to do anything but drive there. Right. I can go buy a box of soft batch chewy chocolate chip cookies for three dollars <laughs> exactly 
<laughs> so you know, but I, I, you know, that's that's a, a. But I think honestly, to boil that down, I think the dad's more. The, the dad's probably more butthurt than the kids are. Well, for losing. not only that, but that kid's going to get destroyed because you know the name's going to come out, and you, you want to get bullied, kid. Now you are. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> let, let's show you what bullying's really yeah, like, the, kid. The dad's not doing the kid any favors. No. No. Yeah. No. He became it, a target. He, right. And what are you teaching your son? Yeah, that right, someone's just, always going to be there to solve problems yeah. for you. No, they're not. You know, I lo- I lose a sale and I overbid it by a hundred grand. I'm like, they bullied me. They they undercut my bid. Well, and like, we talked like, about what that. Kind of, what kind of is it like sh- garbage life lesson? Who did we learned? talk yeah. about that yeah. with? Where someone actually brought their parent, like brought their mom to their job review. Yeah. Like what? their performance review. No, like, to interviews, it's a thing now. No, say that. They're bringing true. mothers to interviews now for first for for college kids first job 40 40 what? hour full time talk to any recruiter right now we were i think we were talking with stephanie from uh, secure 24 she's yep parents are coming to reviews parents are coming to um and then someone was telling me a story where the guy got a bad review mom called boss and the boss said, so oh my God, your mother ever calls me again, I'm firing yeah, you well, tomorrow. Welcome to an at-will state. You're fired. Right. <laughs> but the fact you bring your mom to an interview. And I'll be right like, back. Okay. Like, let me guess who washes the underpants in your house, not you. Right. Like, no, but I mean, that's so, but it, it, we had, and again, something we had talked about throughout the course of the week, you know, so Halloween is Thursday, you know, hence the, you know, Halloween theme and all that fun stuff. Halloween's turned to crap. Well, not quite as bad For as, kids. yeah, not quite as bad as Thanksgiving, you know, it being a non-holiday, um, or as I like to call them now, Kardashian holidays. They're around, but nobody really knows why anymore. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> Um, no, so Halloween, you know, there was a story that broke where p- there are some parents that want to hand out and are handing out wristbands Good. to the kids. Republican. That yeah, it's got nothing to do with it. <laughs> you know, handing out I'm wristbands to kids in you. their neighborhood because they don't want kids from other neighborhoods coming in to get candy. And have, you like, ever been, have you ever been in one of those neighborhoods? Yeah, dude. It happened where, they our, bring, where they bring, like, cargo buses yeah, right, with dude, hundreds dude, and it's hundreds of Halloween. kids. It's kids. Shut up. You see how Either buy extra, candy is? buy extra or turn your damn lights off well, like a normal human. That's why people turn the lights off at 730. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not getting that. Why not just give out your candy till it's gone, and then you turn your light off? Right, because they want to take care of the local, the their their own, you know, the kids in the neighborhood. I don't know. I I don't want to do it. Dave just brought it up, and I'm like, yeah, if they want to do it, let them do it. Yeah, I, I just think it's you know, hands down, one of the most ridiculous things I've ever heard. So, what do they life. do if you don't have a wristband? Well, they said they're leaving it up to the you know homeowners' discretion. The, the problem is they wanna... you get you, you get kids that are sixteen, seventeen, eighteen that are well, and that was the flip side. That, you you can't check ID. So it's well, so like, how like on. how old is too old to go trick or treating? Because I you know we've I, at the old house especially. But I was six foot three when I was fifteen, so I'm fourteen years old. And they're you, like, yeah, no, yeah, you I'm were like, too old. 13, you were too old to be trick or treating. Hey, how are you? <laughs> We, 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 we were just saying, I swear to God, there are girls that are actually coming here. It's not like our girlfriend in Niagara Falls. Yeah, we swear to God, they exist. The yeah. floor lost. <laughs> this is great radio, by the way. Right. Hey. No, so, no, you know, how, you know, at the old house, you know, there were, there were girls that were, I'm going to go with 16, 17, 18 years old that were showing up in the, you know, slutty Cinderella. Wait, what did I miss? What are you talking about? <laughs> I, I, I walk in, you're talking right, about 16 year old girls. I'm so what? confused. What is <laughs> happening? What is why we can't have the nice cutoff? Is ninth grade. I'm going to say it right now. Well, if, how old are you in high grade? school? Fourteen. That's even, the cutoff. Yeah, I can't even guarantee that my thirteen year old is going to go. We, we started talking about Halloween and got into the whole thing about you know the oh, wristbands the bu- and all bu- that bu- stuff. Bussing in kids, right? Yes. And then which led to the you know how old is too old to be trick or treating? Right. And it was. I mean, there were there was you know at one point at the old house there were these three girls that walked at the front door, and I'm like, you belong on Eight Mile, not <laughs> here at my door. Oh, Let it no. <laughs> yeah, but you know, I want to send my child out to get candy for me. Right. That's well. That's, that's no. My kids know already. All the dots, all the take fives are mine. You don't even. You don't own them. Yeah, sweet tarts, um, sweet tarts and nerds. Sweet what? That's <laughs> Freudian. That's <laughs> right. Sweet what? Wait, 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 wait. Speaking yeah. of which, Erica and uh, Michelle are here from Girl Development. How are you guys doing? Oh, oh my. <laughs> that's that's the drop I forgot to get. Oh, my. oh that was so oh, Freudian. Oh that was, that was a cla- quintessential Freudian slip on the part of Billy. It's nine forty four. We just lost our clean tag on iTunes. 
<laughs> no, so you know, like I said, you know, talking about Halloween and how old is too old and and all that you know nonsense that goes on. Um, the other one that we were talking about was uh, you know, so yeah, I mean, you know, the part of the ritual is what do the kids bring back um, for the parents? You passing I mean, out candies and. Uh, 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 Apples and rolls of pennies. Oh, and so, yeah, sweet guy. There's always that one jag in the neighborhood that's handing out toothbrushes. Like, Popcorn God, balls. Right. Yeah, God Popcorn help you balls. if you have a dentist that lives in your neighborhood. Yeah, Actually, you know what's funny? <laughs> yeah, wait, like, here's a lottery uh, ticket. What do you have against popcorn balls? Brother, <laughs> oh, because they're homemade. I don't know who dirty hands touch those things. <laughs> um, no, my co- my um, my cousin's a dentist out in Windsor, Canada, and uh, he did a thing where you paid for the pound like five bucks a pound for candy and he they put them on cbc news and uh like kids would come with their candy they collected and give it to him and he'd give them money and it became this huge thing what? it made no sense and i kind of even joked with them about this is it kind of like the mowing grass downtown you, you yeah, know, exactly. why, why is that on the news <laughs> wait you're getting credit for mowing grass when everyone does it every day but because see i don't have a news crew at my house <laughs> exactly. you get, get, get <laughs> sponsors for cutting your lawn i'm doing it wrong you're gonna get a trophy <laughs> yeah, exactly but yeah he was handing out i think he handed out like a couple thousand dollars it was insane that, yeah, free advertising. Gotta love it. Oh, I'm yeah. Sure he's and he's on the national up. Canadian news. Like, yeah. Well, so what? Like nine viewers? Right? Eight. Right. <laughs> good, good, good story, Bob. It's like Alaska. <laughs> So yeah, so Erica and Michelle have now joined us. Uh, welcome, welcome, ladies. Thanks for coming out. Hello. The show has clearly gone uphill since last time we were here. That's all I'm saying. Oh yeah, we've gotten a lot classier. <laughs> yes, we, yeah, we truly is, have. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, we've still got Billy Strotter from Social Co-op Media Detroit in Coop. with us. Coop. Coop. Whatever. So- dude, that. <laughs> it, no, don't, wait, don't, no, you don't understand. Like that. Don't, totally. Don't, don't call him a ninja, dude. <laughs> I'm the, like that. I, I, I don't know what happened to me last time, but I walked out. I'm like, what in the hell is Social Coop? Like Coop? Coop? <laughs> Like Coop? a Cooper, like a Mini Cooper, and like he meant co-op that bastard. I re- <laughs> Coop, you know, whatever. What? It's all good. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, welcome to the show. How's everything going? Did you guys find the place okay? I know you're actually coming from teaching a class over at Grand Circus. I am. I did at co. a.m. this morning and it doesn't end until I'm done here. So. Wow. So fun day for you. Fun Woo-hoo. day for me. We did find the place okay though. Then, well, we did okay till we got up to the fourth floor, and then it was a little bit. Yeah, you're wandering aimlessly. <laughs> I, I walk out. I'm like Erica, Michelle, and I'm <laughs> echoing, echoing, and then I heard giggling. I'm like, yep, that's the direction. <laughs> <they're in." laughs> well, apparently Eminem is filming a video in the building right now, so that's why there's no parking and. We little. found a good spot. We just kind of kept wandering aimlessly, and I felt like a badass because I had my boots on. I felt like, awesome. I, like I was video in some video those, those are some badass and boots. And there was my something God. that was going to happen around the corner, and it was just art. <laughs> we were those girls in the movie where you're like, don't go down the hallway. Don't go down the hallway. And sure enough, you went down the hallway. Right. Right. I, almost texted oh my God, it's... I almost texted you back saying, you know, just go to the green door. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm so Which scared. Which is an entirely oh, different kind of oh. movie. <laughs> exactly. I was going to yeah. say, oh, my God, we're so scared. Oh God, that reference. <laughs> but if it's a true horror movie, you've got... We they got to take up. a shower if it's a true horror movie. <laughs> <laughs> right. We should split up. Well, yeah, well, that's that's right. movie, it's right. not your first, Billy. No, I'm going to say it's... And, and, and go upstairs. So it's not in space, so we save. That's oh, right. it's that's only right. space movie. <laughs> 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 token? Yeah, exactly. right. 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 <laughs> token. I'm the black guy. I better f- find out what's wrong. <laughs> right. Allow me to go down this dark hallway by myself and keep everyone safe. <laughs> I'm girl. I'm going to take a shower while you find out. <laughs> isn't, this a night, isn't this an IT show? <laughs> yeah. it, it, exactly. It's a yeah. you know, Futurama. Didn't we used to be a delivery company? That's right. <laughs> No, the last Detroit night, yeah, it was it. Uh, he was like, "It's like not, Star Trek." Didn't we, weren't we explorers at one point? Right. <laughs> You're not very informative, but why are you entertaining? I'm like, I can live with that. You know, that was actually one of our actually positive reviews. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'll take that all day long. <laughs> exactly. So yeah, so you know, from a girl development perspective, so things have obviously blown up a little bit for you guys, uh, and and things are going really well. And and Erica, you've you know now moved into like I. I I don't know when you sleep, I, by the way. I don't either. I, I think she's like she's trying to slap us across the face with "ha ha." I'm busier doing more for people than you are. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's, I, I just I can't say no, and I don't really want to. So I'm gonna keep going. Mark that I down. Nine uh, fifty. <laughs> All right, Michelle. You know who you're talking to. So, what'd you, t- what'd you teach today? Yeah. So, what, you know, what, what's the deal with Grand Circus? Like, what are you teaching there? So, Grand Circus, for those who don't know, is a tech training institute downtown, and I am teaching a class. It's a ten week intensive in web development. So, okay. HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Which we they got about a half semester of JavaScript in three hours tonight. Wow. Um, there were like eyes like ping pong balls that were just like, yeah, it was not good. <laughs> 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 so, 
actually have a long way to go. We're, yeah, we're, we're halfway through week five now, so we've got about another four and a half weeks. Of- well, yeah, so we had Brad in what, three, four weeks ago? Yeah, something yeah. like that. That was the one yeah. that kept getting rescheduled. Right, <laughs> yeah. And Bradley. That's yep. right, and Bradley, who's? <laughs> That was, that, was, that was the Horton Hears a Who's that right. was, oh was Mr. Preneur. Mr. Preneur. <laughs> but no, it is going great. I have 18 students, which is fantastic. Very wow. cool. Um, wow. Yeah, a lot of them so, are girls. And yeah, there's Oh, that's very cool. Well, that was and that was one of the questions. So I mean, like what's the difference between like this what you're doing at Grand Circus and what you've got going on with Girl Develop It? I mean, like what what have you She's getting paid. Well, there's that. <laughs> <laughs> we pay our instructors Good call. what he said. <laughs> Did you pay? Yeah, but no, now she apparently she's getting paid. Well, that's <laughs> <perfect>. <laughs> <laughs> more money, more money, more money. <laughs> um, yeah. So, well, so yeah, it is. It's a mixed class, which I mean, we have some at Girl Development, but it's usually about ninety-five percent women, and this class is only thirty percent women, which is still pretty great. I was okay. excited about it. Well, and it's um, and it, it's got like a whole like ten-week track to it instead yeah, of just like a one-shot it's arc, just, yeah, right? Just, right. Just one right. Time. It covers right. a whole lot of stuff. Um, we're going through everything from basic like build a simple web page all the way up through APIs and all that kind of stuff. So, wow. Um, yeah. So, what do they get when they're done? Just curious. Um, the satisfaction of a job well done. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> no, is it like, is it cert or is it, um... No, um, we actually... Really, guys? <laughs> you get slow clapped on your way out the door. <laughs> so at Grand Circus, um, we actually kind of try to stay away from the certification model because, you know, in in web development... They're, not, they're in, worthless nowadays? In mo- Yeah, it just really isn't, you know, it, right. at least in the circles that we're training for. It's exactly. Not, right, it's not yeah. meaningful. The same thing um, with even GDI. People ask us for those classes. Really? Oh, yeah, we t- we yeah. talked about that last yeah. time, where right. you know, yeah, it, it no, it's not a certification. It's about getting through the class and making connections and all yeah. that stuff. Yeah, learning something. Exactly. New. No, that's yeah, cool. Pro- prove what you know. See, and I went back and listened to the 95%. last episode just to be safe. And what I learned is <laughs> never, ever, ever just like make a statement and don't make it a question because I did that to you guys like eight times. It was like that air, <laughs> that's right. Yeah. <laughs> but, so what I had a quick said. question though. Yeah. So you said that ninety five girl develop it, ninety five percent women, and then Grand Circus. Oh, Grand Circus. Okay, right. I was thinking that Girl Develop It was ninety five percent women. It, it is. It is. That's what you're saying. So the you know the Girl Develop It classes are right. like ninety five percent women. And then what else? Wait, what, so if it's the one Girl Develop with, It, what's yeah ninety? What's is the it other like five? that one guy that shows up at yoga class? <laughs> <laughs> that guy. <laughs> Um, I'm, I'm gonna He's say, really popular. Other than other than one memorable occasion, the guys who've come to our classes have been fantastic. Yeah. and they're really fun. They, they're they, so trolling. Oh, come on, me. you can't you can't drop something like that and uh, tell a story. Michelle, it's all you. Go I for it. really should we talk about this? Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> well, I, I'm I, sorry. Have you never read our website? Yeah. Yes, you should. Have. <laughs> you were on the show before. You should Na- know. Names this can by be now. changed he to protect a, the not so innocent. He was very obnoxious during the class, and then he brought something with him you should not have brought with him. What? Come on. He came armed. To a girl developer class. Really? Really. Like a yeah. gun? Yeah, we didn't notice until we were taking the photo. I'm like, what? This is this was intimidating to you in Detroit coming to this class of all places. <laughs> <laughs> this is where you felt you needed to be to have You were a safe threatened place. in a room full of women. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, and but that really was, that, that was, was yeah. So it is like the one guy that shows up to the well, yoga that class. Was, <laughs> <laughs> that was like our third class. I know. I'm pro CCW. I don't see any problem we had with it. We had a guy actually come to class, so we were like, we can't do this anymore. But ever yeah. since then, it's been totally it's Isn't it? No, that's the whole point of CCW is that you're not supposed to know you have it. What right. Did he have it out? <laughs> we took a group shot. It was and like, then yo, he yo, took yo, it yo. out and put it on the floor. He's like, oh, excuse me. I'm like, what? Does he know he could get arrested for brandishing? Oh, that was, I was going to say, yeah, say, that was, that that was the he, total, hey, ladies, <laughs> see my pistol? Let yeah. me show you Let me show you my 45. To be fair, we made him do a volleyball pose in the group photo. We made him, we lay, made him lay on the ground. Was he walking in going, this is my rifle, this is my gun, this is for fun, this is for fun? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, that should have been clue number one. Right, yeah. <laughs> it's when you run. But for the most part, we have not had any other no, it's bad behavior. It's been great. Yeah. Yeah. So it's There's just, just lots of ladies. Yeah. What are you doing after? Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Come talk oh, to my geez. 45. <laughs> <laughs> the the overly smooth yeah you know are you sitting on an F five key because that ass is refreshing uh, <laughs> <laughs> really <laughs> wow wait, wait, wait. hold on I wait wait oh. I'm done I feel like I can Come move on. On. <laughs> and that's all that's been happening since last time we right. <laughs> well thanks for joining us have an Oreo cookie <laughs> right well and, and yeah so you know you've got the gig over at Detroit Labs and so that's you know obviously that's the start of your day how's that going it is the best thing in the world she's got like five day jobs I know, well, right? yeah you, you Jamaican seem, you seem overly happy. Like I've never seen anybody so like enthusiastic and perky about their goddamn job Dude, ever. My life is the best thing ever. Wait till you're forty. 
<laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah, come talk to us in 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm um, seriously, it is fantastic. I love it. Um, best decision I've ever made in my life. I'm super happy there and super happy at Grand Circus and always happy at Girl Develop It. So it's That's awesome. Do you guys have an anniversary win. coming up? We do. We do. Have it actually already year. happened. We've it already did. turned one. Yeah. Well, congratulations. But we're having a party to celebrate uh, Friday the Yeah, at Grand Circus. Friday. Fr- yeah. yeah, next Friday. Grand Circus Friday mm-hmm. the 8th. My invitation must have been lost in the mail. It, it was actually. Uh, <laughs> you're not I'm sure it was. That, that's and, their story. And, and, I, and, I, heard, yeah. <laughs> and, and I heard you're having waffles. What is the connection with waffles? I don't understand that. You have to tell. What's the story there? So, uh, Care Joe. When Who? Care Joe. Who? Who? Yeah, Who? Exactly. Who <laughs> when we uh, started doing our coat and coffees at Great Lakes, right. started uh, bringing. Ordering waffles all the time, and we started posting them on Twitter, and all of a sudden, everyone started ordering waffles. So you're actually making them there, or you're bringing... someone's making them? Well, someone's making them. Right <laughs> We're not. They're being catered. They're being catered. Just a time out, real quick. Catered fresh waffles. Billy, did... there's, there, wait, wait, there's wait, wait, waffle wait. caterers. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Tata shop. Billy didn't just bring talls. He brought 24 ounce tall boys of PBR. <laughs> He was trying to outdo Mark with the uh, the nine point one percent double IPAs. Yeah, I don't Lord. think that's happening with PBR at all. Well, Michelle was considering bringing uh, some refreshments, but then she decided that was a bad idea. Well, I, you guys, you I wanted to bring thing. cognac. And then well, I, <laughs> actually, even better, I was going to bring some moonshine that my grandpa made. Mm. Oh, uh, you know what are you doing? Was next gonna? Next <laughs> was time. gonna? Next yeah. time, I know. Yeah, talk about a letdown. <laughs> really? Well, yeah, who do we have booked for next week? <laughs> <laughs> right, they're now bumped. <laughs> that's like bad karma. Next date, she goes on. I was going to take it to. Capital Girl, but we're going to uh, Denny's. <laughs> like we're going, to, we're going to Sizzla. Well, Sizzla. Exactly. I was going to say Sizzla. 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 There's no yeah. Sizzla up here. Yeah. <laughs> well, and so Michelle, you know, for WDET, you know, you've taken on new responsibilities there and kind of moved into a new role. I mean, how are, are you still doing okay with everything that goes on with GDI? I mean, how's how's your schedule? How's your life? We added people to our team conveniently at the best time ever. Oh, you're, so we okay. three you're empire girls. building. Yeah, so there's Basically. five of us now that are running Very the cool. show. Very cool. Um, so that's helped. Yeah, new So there's obviously a need for that, right? You're growing. Yeah, so we had some. What are we getting on WDT? You want to get our own show? I don't know, but I was on Craig Failey once. Oh, yeah. Craig Failey, oh boy. Yeah, they probably heard this show. (laughs) (laughs) No, yeah, exactly. And then we never got invited back again. No, that was the. uh, We talk way too fast to be on NPR. Well, you were talking about social media. You were talking about social media. That was the whole thing. Yeah, so I discovered you after 20 years. The show brought to you by. Sorry, just doing NPR. Who are you, Alan Alda? Yeah, exactly. And the, this is this is the <laughs> IT and the D after hours. Talk to How us about That's right. what anyway. are you what, what are you wearing? I totally want to do like a midnight caller segment. No. Just <laughs> flashback to the old. Hey, this is Jack Palance. Man. That's right. <laughs> this is the ladies' man. Oh, you do that way oh. too good. Wow, that was pretty Which, good, Billy. Yeah, well, there's there's, there's, there's such hired. a conversation that we need to have off the air about somebody who sounds like that in real life constantly. Oh person. my god, yeah, <laughs> okay. drives us crazy. <laughs> I, oh yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, we yeah got, we're coming up. On we a got break. distracted, right. uh, so that we're works. gonna well, after the break we'll dive back in with everyone. Twenty four hours. PBR this is the IT that he show. We'll be right back. I find her interesting because she's a client and because she sleeps above her covers. Four feet above, above her covers. <laughs> she barks. She drools. She <laughs> we are back. We are, IT and the D show. She barks. She drools. Oh That's God. the end of that clip. Oh, I, we got a little secret. It to was the, from Ghostbusters. The Come mics on. were hot all break, so we're putting it on our uh, IT and the D show after dark. After near, dark, yeah. That's not we, were, we, were, we were actually recording, Erica, the whole I, I, time. IT and the D dot triple X. <laughs> Dot jobs what? <laughs> no, no, it's, it's dot co dot xx. There's no, there's right. <laughs> Who gets dot co? Uh, Never mind. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, so we're back, and you know, so again, we've got uh, Eric and Michelle in here from Girl Development and their various adventures. We've got Billy in from Social Media Coop. That's putting it lightly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wow, things that have heard that cannot be unheard. No, nope. um, no, but so actually, uh, Billy and I were just having a good conversation on the hallway, and and uh, let, let's Not chat like about that. Here. Yeah, I uh, no, it wasn't. <laughs> I, I assure you, you, you missed the one uh, in here. <laughs> um, Chocolate. <laughs> right. yes. a, the black guy's got his ears perked up. <laughs> <There>. <laughs> 
Nice. Really? Show about the IT. Uh, right. Yeah. No. Okay. So you were talking about you know so you were just out in L.A. Uh, yep. talking to a whole bunch of potential clients and and you know it, it, you said it kind of tweaked a little bit the way you look at social media and how you pitch it and approach it to people and this is it's a good message to hear. Yeah. So the idea was they wanted me to come out and talk about social media to a group of manufacturers. And I'm like, hey, guys, you know, I really want to focus on digital marketing instead of just social media in a silo. And so I talked to the guys and said, hey, you really need to focus on your website first because that's where it starts. Think of it that's as your base your, camp. Yeah. Right. That's your hub. Right. You know, and, um, you know, you look at the data and help it use it to help you figure out how people are using your site. And you really need to make sure that you have a mobile first design, right? Mm -hmm. So you want a responsive uh, site. Your PowerPoint wasn't a Twitter your way to success. I always thought that was the best way to go about it. Don't Twitter yourself. Oh, God damn it. Yeah. No matter what the conversations were in here right. during the no. break, stop Twittering yourself. <laughs> <laughs> or, or twerking, tweeting while you work. Right. Oh. Oh. Oh, I see yeah. what you did there. Yeah. 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 Oh, my. <laughs> I don't even get a slow clap. <laughs> wait, wait. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> we have a new toy now. Yeah, so that was really the... Speaking of new... To anyway. Yeah. <laughs> but that was the basis, you know, the, the jump-off point was, you know, really it, it starts with your website and then and you go from there. Well, and it's that whole, you know, don't call it social media because social media immediately puts it's it on... been here for it, years? Well, it, don't call it a comeback. No. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, so it's it puts it in that context of friends, not business. You know, it's... It, How it, many of us it, have them? Well, oh, I mean, my... <laughs> see, all right. So... <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the old school R and B hour. Sorry, of right now. <laughs> you know, next thing you know, he's going to do hammer don't hurt. Well, him. Billy, let me ask you. I mean, yeah, I'm waiting for what? don't go what, what? chasing <laughs> water. I listened to that on my way over. Oh, you did not. <laughs> I, I have the VH1 crazy sexy cool. Behind, yeah, I, I have it sitting I on have my TV. I have to knowing, watch it. Knowing VH they were going to be in studio, we should have done all nineties all, all night. I have the soundtrack on my phone. <laughs> well, of course <laughs> you do. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even know what we were listening to in the parking lot. Yeah, uh, I'm going to go. With uh, Backstreet Boys. Oh, that was before I picked Erica. Okay. In sync. Uh, new Kids on the Block. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get there on the way home. That's yeah, it. To come later. No. So it's you know. So wait, yeah, wait, I mean, what was that? What, what? <laughs> right. Yeah. So it's not just social media. I mean, it's it's looking at it from a business perspective, and it really is digital marketing. I mean, it's it's a different. <sighs> it, it's a different level set. Yeah. I mean, you look at it holistically. You don't. It, it, you know, just because someone gives a presentation that says a lot of people use Twitter doesn't necessarily mean that you need to be on there. Right. Right. So um, and then I threw the whole, you know, social media is really nothing new. It, you nope. know, we've been around, you know, think AOL, just different tools. America Online, when we get, you guys remember those discs where you oh, get 500 absolutely. hours free? And, yeah. you know, ASL? I yeah. wallpapered yeah. my house with them. <laughs> right. Yeah. Welcome, gonna, to, welcome to chat room. I think yeah. you really need to be on to everything just in case someone's talking crap about you. And it's almost you, like a defense mechanism. Absolutely. So you can answer yeah. because um, when I was uh, I was uh, I don't know if I, I was DJing last week at the Blackfin, right? I had mm -hmm. my little reunion tour, and Again? the guy, yeah, two weeks in a row, and he told me, you know, hey, eleven o'clock, play music, right? And the Tiger game was still on, and I played music, and people are going crazy, screaming at me. So we, you know, we put the game back on. Long story short, he says, you know what's going to suck now is they're all going to complain on social media, like to the to the nth degree. And, you know, so, but the fact is, if you follow it, I think you have a defense mechanism to combat it. Yeah. So, what we do there is, um, you know, I made the recommendation that you can use a monitoring tool. You don't necessarily have to be there, but when you're doing your research, trying to figure out what networks you're going to be on, spend some time. Like, for example, I have a large manufacturing client, and they spent a year just listening to what was happening, where people were talking about them to figure out which network made the most sense for them to, to start on. And listening not just about their product, but about their particular industry. Exactly. Yeah. We talk about that, about Yelp, you know, and people complain about a certain restaurant or bar, and if the owner comes back and said, you know, I'm you know, I'm sorry we were having a bad day or whatever, come back in, I'll buy you a beer. Or just that, it's just an, it looks good. You know what was really cool is I finally got around to posting a review of St. Andrew's Hall. Okay. You know, from, from us doing our events there, and I posted okay. it. And I get a, you know, hey, you, your review got one cool vote. And I get a note from Leaf uh, who says, hey, you know, thanks for the great review. You know, really appreciate it. You know, thanks. You know, let us know when you're coming back. Or, you know, I look forward to talking to you at some point. And I shoot him a note back and I'm like, Leaf, it's Dave from Detroit Net. Did you read the review? Because <laughs> I, I, I talked about our event that we had there. And he was like, oh, my God. He's like, I didn't even dig in and see who that was. That was, you know, you guys were awesome. You were great. And I'm like, exactly, dude. Pay I'm attention like, That's, next yeah. time. Cut and paste. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. Thanks right, for the yeah. cut and paste. Thanks email. There. Well, here's, here, this is what's even weirder. Um, 
uh, one of the uh, girls that goes to school with Gretchen, their parents, they're, they're younger. I worked with them at the post back in the day. So I hang out with them once in a while. I met her sister maybe like a half a dozen times in my life. She comes up to me at Duffy's, gives me a hug, says hi, says you wrote a bad review about the restaurant I'm the manager at, and uh, I know you said you didn't want to trash it. So not only did she know that I that I wrote a bad review, and I said I I came right out and said, listen, I don't want to trash this place. It's in it's well, you in my neighborhood. You, you can't hide on Yelp. It's your it's yeah. Your own name. So she like she had my word for word of what I said about it, and I go. Yeah, wow. She'd been storing that up in her head for a while. I I'm know, and it, it kind of freaked it kind of <laughs> me, freaked me, me out. Me. But then at the same token, she's like, "Give us, will you give us another yeah, chance?" Pull, go, let, Absolutely. Let me pull out your file. <laughs> no, but right. it, I think yeah, exactly. But I think it was good for her to say, "Hey, will you give us another chance?" I said, "Absolutely." But if she never said that, I probably wouldn't because it was really bad the first time I went. Right. So um, will you write another review? Once you go I will. I, I will totally write a retraction on a bad. I try. Well, you can write an update. Yeah, yeah, I try so hard not to give bad reviews unless the place is it was bad. Yeah. Well, if um, the place deserves. If you it. read my reviews, um, I think I only have like a couple that I'm just like, you know, you're dead to me. Uh, most of them are th- four. Like it's hard, really hard for me to give a five because I don't want to throw them out. You know, um, I don't write sure. that. I think I only wrote like twenty reviews in my life, so it's not like a, you know, I, I, not like I do it like a habit like some people. I have no, no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm not pointing. Yelp, man, seriously, <laughs> like every restaurant that we go to that's new, my husband's like, "Oh look, this guy Dave said it's good." <laughs> 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 and one time I looked over his shoulder, I was like, "Oh yeah, I know that." Guy. <laughs> Dave got the uh, internet equivalent of a, a participation trophy when he yeah. got Yelpy Lee. Yelpy Lee, <laughs> he's Yelp Lee. Yes, yeah, we we all look aspire to be me. Dave and Yelp Lee. Yeah, look at, look see if I invite you to a free beer event. No, you know what he does? He goes, "Do you know who I am? I'm Yelp Lee. I can destroy you." Oh yeah, that's me. He that's does me. That. One on one. Wait, wait, wait. He's got the badge on his right shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah. The, my Yelp Elite socks that I wear everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> then he walks up to strangers at events going, aren't you Emily 4213? I, I or... totally did and totally made an ass of myself, and I'm completely good with that. I should have taped that. I really, oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, go talk to her. <laughs> yeah, 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 you didn't help much. Yeah, I didn't, yeah. I, I swear to God, I'm pretty sure that hot blonde, I'm friends with her on Yelp. I swear <laughs> to God. Just, oh, yeah, just go talk to her. To be good, I don't walk up. Hey, are I, you? I'm usually the angel on your shoulder. I'm like, yeah, go for it. Yeah, just, no, no, you know, do, do it, yeah, do it. Yeah, do it. Yeah. She'll know who you are exactly. I'm like giggling to myself the whole time you're walking over there. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna crash and burn, crash and burn, crash that's and burn. Right. No, so I mean, I guess that's a good question. I mean, from a, a girl development perspective, have you guys gotten requests for doing a social media class? Um, have you looked at it? Are you like what? What's new and different with girl development classes these days? We're trying to keep it on the development side. Um, I think we're trying to expand what languages. So HTML and CSS have been really popular. We've done JavaScript, PHP. We're looking at doing. Some Python and Ruby next Python, year. Python, really? Mm-hmm. Some mobile classes now that that's... Are, are those actually requests? Anyways. Somebody's actually Did requesting sh- Python? Yes, mm-hmm. we have a lot of requests for Python, Ruby, Rails. People don't know what they're asking Did for. I see you guys so, are going to do a WordPress <laughs> well, class? Well, yeah, we well. just did a WordPress okay. class. I took it and it was... Hey, maybe Jeff, maybe you could take that. Intimidating. Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, I mean, uh, who's who's requesting these different languages? Is it employers or is it is it attendees that have said, hey, you know, I, I heard that this might be worthwhile on my resume, I want to learn about Python. So we get some of those in passing conversation, um, but a lot of them are every time somebody signs up for a meetup and joins the group, um, we ask them to complete a community survey just saying, hey, like, what would you be interested in? And so Got we it. take those results, we aggregate them, and we say, okay, we should offer this. this so this, what, what's going to bubble to the top? Yeah, I, I filled it out. I'm, I'm a nerd at, apparently. <laughs> didn't somebody <laughs> ask on... Uh... Yeah, we're, yeah, we're, we're, we're all nerd at, except, except for Bob. Yeah, that's why I didn't get invited until next Friday. Right, right. that's right. Know, I mean... Didn't somebody ask if Ruby was still hot on LinkedIn uh, on our group? And badge, badge guy. It absolutely, yeah, yeah. yeah badge guy. guy. Yeah, button guy. Yeah. yeah, it absolutely is. By by the way, to answer his question, and you know we get was? a lot of meetup. Even like you were saying with social media responding, I mean, we realize that a lot of our conversation happens on meetup. We have people tweeting at us on Facebook asking us about when we're offering something. Yeah, we um, actually we we brought in a community manager to deal with all the social media. Yeah, stuff. Because, really. Oh yeah, we greet people. We try to like form bonds and see what they're into and. Figure out the best time to meet some of the people that join our group based on what they're looking for. So much for. better at this than I was going to say. Is like, like, like <laughs> for the three of us, I mean, the, the, three, the three of us have access to Detroit Net at and IT in the D. Is it so you actually hired somebody to take over GDI Detroit? The, well, if by hired, the, you mean uh, said, "Hey, who wants to volunteer to do this?" Really, you're bribing thing? them with Oreos. Is that what it is? <laughs> right. <laughs> actually, it's a really neat story. Um, it's one of our former students who um, took a class in March, had never done any coding before. 
um, decided she was going to become a freelance developer and you know now gets paid for client work and teaches for us as well. That is awesome. Yeah. Very I, cool. I, I love stories what like that. That story. is so cool. It's super cool. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, she handles the Twitter accounts and the Facebook. And I mean, we're we tag still, team. I mean, we, we still have right. access. Right. Yeah, so, yeah. Do you now? Yeah. Um, Ten seven. <laughs> <laughs> I give up. Yeah. The minute it came out of my mouth, I wanted to take it back. That's what she said. Oh. <laughs> Wait, where's, where's, the, where, where's the belt? <laughs> Not figuratively. Should I keep going or should I stop? No, please no, keep, keep going. going. Keep going. Keep, keep going. This Ten, makes for a great radio. 18. Yeah. No, I mean, that's no, but that's good. I mean, you guys are actually you're really you're far more engaged than we are. I mean, like totally. we, we try. I did work in social media before. I should carry on. Yeah, she, yeah. Actually, she actually knows what she's doing. <laughs> yeah, we're sort such of rank what friggin' we found amateurs. Was that, um, well, we have the imposter syndrome, right? Kind of we have a radio show. Of people coming back was like how they connected <laughs> and how you know. I mean, if they had conversations with us or anything like that, right? And so, so we try to like at least make some personal connection with everybody. We've and, not advertised anything. No, we've never actually like done any real. We keep saying we're going to create flyers, and we forget. That keeps not happening. We keep saying well, we're making hoodies. I keep failing at that. Well, clearly you don't need them, right? I mean, if word of mouth is all your clo- uh, classes are packed, right? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Pretty much. Well, yeah, we keep talking about you. So yeah, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> that must explain that one guy that came to our class. <laughs> probably. Sorry. Yeah, right. <laughs> probably oh, no, that probably was Bob. from Bob's Gun Club. Yeah, <laughs> I heard there was chicks here. <laughs> nice. Really? <laughs> no, actually, but one of the things I wanted to, like, so Billy, one of the things I wanted to talk to you about was there, you know, just the whole recovering from a social media fail. Um, like one of the, it was, it was a bad week for teachers this week. Um, I don't know if you caught the story. So there was one where a professor uh, at Indiana got busted uh, taking his students to a strip club. Hmm. Um, and then there was a TA at Iowa uh, that apparently instead of the test results that she was supposed to be sending out, sent out nude pictures of herself. You don't do that on accident. No, apparently it was they were uh, no like uh, like this all evolved within like eight hours. Apparently they were similarly named zip files that she had on her drive. She screwed up. She grabbed the wrong one and shot it out to an entire classroom you full of college. Always double check that. Always. No, but that's one hundred and one on where to put that stuff. You don't put it in a zip file, right? <laughs> Similar to <laughs> here. Here's my USB stick. Right. <laughs> so you know, and so like you know, within you know within you know two hours yeah. of oh you know this getting even. Oh, you know, oh my. You know she's removed from the class. Class and you know now there's and of course all the photos are everywhere all over the internet and I mean it's you know it, forgets. yeah uh, well but they do because I mean it'll be forgotten right. in you know yeah. five minutes but you know it the you union know has but it lives to say on about it somewhere <laughs> you know yeah. but from a like, from a professional standpoint that. you know there was the whole you know hey the the Chrysler you know social media account sent out the Oh you know, yeah, yeah. Detroit that, drivers suck. That's right. Um, that guy got fired. Yeah, that account was, got canceled. Yeah. So I mean, it's you know how what's what's a good way? Like, do you just like? I'm still stunned that none of us have done this yet, where we haven't accidentally tweeted like just something horrific from the Detroit Net account or the IT and the D account. As we actually to, are an LLC now, we have to pay attention. Right. <laughs> Wasn't well, Taco Bell owns it? They're really funny about it when people like tweet goofy stuff to Taco Bell. They're re- actually whoever running it is insanely witty. There's funny stuff. All the time coming out from the Taco Bell uh, Twitter account. Crickets. Yeah. <laughs> Good story, Bob. Uh-huh. Thanks for, Thanks for calling. Thanks for calling. You know, I'm leaving. Yeah. Come back. That, that is like my worst nightmare, though, because I'm always on the go and I'm trying to manage from my Yeah, iPad which account my, am I in? My phone. And- so one of the things that I do is I have um, – I use the, the official Twitter app for just my personal stuff. That's it. And then – I have um, a couple other management tools that I use, and um, I just make sure that I keep. And that's client work, yeah. Yeah, That's client work. That's it. So I I try to stay out of that. I one time on the WDT Facebook page posted something inappropriate by accident. And how fast did you delete it? Very quickly, because I posted. (laughs) um, We we had something called the Public Insight Network, and I wrote the Pubic Insight Network, and I encouraged people to join. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, And then some fourteen people screenshot it. (laughs) That explains the guy that showed up. <laughs> so now I started trying to draft things and stare at them for yeah. a second before I post to them or schedule stuff so I can have a chance to look at it. An old editing tip is read it backwards. Yeah, well. Really? Yeah. What? I caught it. I should yeah. back. What? What? It's just a missing L. Yeah, you lost me yeah, on that that's one. That's it. I got nothing. Just read just the L backwards. I'll read this. Oh, yeah, I'm like thinking of an entire post, and I'm like, I, that would that yeah. will your post it would take like forever because you you post like War and Peace. <laughs> <laughs> I 
like to communicate. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, these are my words, and I share. Read it okay. first in English, then in Arabic, then we're good. <laughs> right. <laughs> Run it through Google Translator. What can possibly go wrong? Yeah. <laughs> first, yeah, Canadian, French, then Mexican. <laughs> right. But to answer your question, I, you know, if you're managing accounts for, for someone, um, a corporate account, and you screw up like that, there's really... No coming back from that. Yeah, because I mean, it's, <laughs> it, it, so, it is. It's, no isn't it best to own it though? <laughs> yeah, I mean, isn't it best just to own yeah, it and run just, with it? You just own it and run with it. But I mean, generally, what's going to happen? They're, they're probably going to just pull you off the account and put someone on. And hopefully, as long as you've you still have the contract for a while, you work. It you can redeem yourself. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I just, I yeah, that I, like I, I just saw that story this morning, and I'm like, mother of God, like, how do you even? Yeah. yeah now, this professor, were they sharing? Like checking in, what was going on with that? Well, I so no, it was it, the story. well, so it was a, it was a TA. Well, so the the TA was supposed to be sending out the test results. Okay, and it like I said, grabbed the wrong zip file and sent out like eight or ten nude photos that she had of herself from a Skype screen cap that you know she was running with. Why are they on a work PC anyway? No, personal. I mean, they're, they're, um, but that's that's TA, part of, right. that's part of the fun. Yeah. It's that blend yep. between work and personal these days. <laughs> yep. Um, the lines are. are or gray to big right. Yeah. Uh, apparently, Fifty Shades thereof. Um, <laughs> and, and that's nice. the worst. Hell- <laughs> Speaking of Halloween, have you seen that stupid costume guys are wearing where they're grabbing the paint uh, samples from Lowe's and then putting them on a shirt? And I'm Fifty Shades of Gray. Oh, that's it's, right up there with the you know the ribbon and the you know. Is that like the mem costumes that we were talking yeah. about? That's like a mem costume. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the Halloween. Yeah, Halloween. Yeah. Hala-meme, yeah. <laughs> Did you just call it a mem. Ma'am, sorry. Ma'am. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> By ma'am, ma'am. Je- yes, ma'am. Yeah. I did win sexiest costume this weekend. You've been waiting all night to bring that. I have. I yeah. have. They which, had a- which I think actually says more about Muldoon's than it does about you. <laughs> <laughs> For Auburn Hills, I'm highbrow. <laughs> I. I. Were have- you wearing the snuggie when you won? No, no. no the snuggie his, was just for the Kenny tailgate. Powers yeah, outfit. Yeah. That was which, Kenny which Powers. Makes it even better. Can we do the slow clap for you? Is that what please, is? please. Yeah. <laughs> Forty-year-old fat guy. And I want sexiest costume. Give me. A, I, I need something for my ego once in a while. You know. <laughs> Wait, how about this? <laughs> there you go. Perfect. I can sleep well now. Make everybody happy. But yeah, I mean, it, that's. It, but the so the professor that got busted was apparently uh, has a known history of like hanging out and partying and smoking and drinking mm. and getting wasted with the students. So um, she she should have known better. Well, this is different from the TA. Oh. So the the professor that got busted like apparently took his stu- his like she brought a whole new meaning to TA. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, was, yeah, she's the now the TNA is really? what she is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't um, know what's happening here. Right? <laughs> no, so the professor, you know, uh, apparently I, it had a rep. Billy, that's actually a good question. I have no idea what's going on here. Well, and I and I think we all like going through high school and that you know we like there was always that one teacher that was extremely borderline and you know might have crossed the line every now and then. But in today's age of social media, you know, you've got to expect one of your dumbass students is going to post something on Facebook, Twitter, wherever, and, and in this case, it happened to be both. Yeah, I'm out with Professor So and So, and you know, here we are in a strip club. And oh, by the way, they're freshmen; they're 18 and 19 years old. Um, you, you busted job, gone. See you later, bye. You know, and it's it's almost as bad as you know we were talking earlier about you know your 13 to 18 year olds and keeping them off social media. Yeah. You have to realize that they're out there and what they're posting about you. Yeah, well, I don't even <laughs> who didn't drink with a professor though. Yeah. I mean, we all did, oh, didh- yeah. didn't we? Uh, well, but high I don't school? necessarily agree no, about not high school <laughs> professor. I said, who's a professor in high school? <laughs> yeah, and, and I don't necessarily agree about keeping your kids off social media because how are you going to teach them, right? So, you know, my daughter, she's not on Facebook, but she has Instagram. And one of the rules that which we, is owned by Facebook, yeah, whatever. Okay, so <laughs> semantics, <laughs> yeah. um, details. But the idea was that there are no selfies in the bedroom and in the bathroom. I'm, I'm like, you need to have some places that are your own. And um, and so a lot of her friends, that's that's all they do is they just take selfies, right? Which so, is yeah, crazy, dude. I go through like my I'm friends with my nieces on you know Facebook and selfies. Instagram. It's yeah, yeah it's kind of scary. I'm actually. like, right. how? I'm like, no, stop, stop with the <laughs> selfies. Yeah, no, so I know. You realize you're, you're, you don't want to see these pictures yourself. I know grown you're... men yeah. that every day put a selfie. Grown man. 42? No. You, you're going to apply to a job one day, <laughs> and that's that? gonna, all going to be discoverable. Stop yeah. it. <laughs> no, but the rule that we have is that for every one selfie that you take, find four beautiful things in the world that you can take a picture of. Oh, I because that. I want her to 
see the world in a different way and, and enjoy photography because I that's my, what it's for. I let my cool. nine-year-old use Vine, and I wasn't sure about it. Um, but I said, you know, I want full, I get full access to, you know what I mean? So I just wanted to see. She comes back with, like, I'm. it's one of the best Vines I've ever seen. And I'm like, it was like her second crack at it. I'm like... I, I, for, I, I can't stop watching. It's absolutely hilarious. Dude, we've told you for two years now that your daughter needs her own Twitter account. We would all follow her in a heartbeat. <laughs> That's why she's not on Twitter. Yeah. yeah. No, 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 you don't, exactly. no, you don't understand. His oldest daughter is going to wind up running the world at some point. She truly will. It's Bob's wit and Bo's looks. <laughs> right. <Yeah. laughs> Lord help us all. <laughs> Believe it or not, we're actually up against a break again. Speaking of good running. Yeah. Fast. Yeah. Fastest two hours of internet radio. This is the IT and the D show. We'll be right back. Don't you go where fashion sits? Wait, did he just... Wait. Taco stole that song. That was yeah, that was Young Frank. Are we back? Oh. On the, are we back on the air? Yeah, we are. <laughs> I had no idea. I thought Taco. I thought it was original. Tongo. Okay, no. this is this is a lesson learned. We just need to keep the mic throw random Can we keep the mic hot? Just keep the mic hot. Keep the mic hot. Because, because two oh hours straight. God, no, because like ten seconds ago, Michelle's begging like, "How do I unwrap my meat stick?" <laughs> 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 And and Bob brought the, Bob's much. got the short meat stick. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. yeah. I brought the Dearborn, the mini sticks. Like, oh, the mini the sticks. Mini yeah. Bob brought the mini sticks. It's not the size; it's the quantity, man. <laughs> <laughs> It didn't how, make any sense. I know it's like an iceberg. <laughs> it's how you unwrap it. <laughs> Bob's like, it's like an iceberg, right? Just the tip. Stepping away from my microphone. <laughs> Welcome to the fourth oh, segment for of the IT love and the of D. God, we are back for the fourth segment of IT and the D. Can we, we talk don't... about social media? <laughs> yeah, anything. Uh, anything. Can we talk about anything? Bueller. Well, no, so I, I do. I mean, I, the last segment, we always want to, you know, just double back and, and touch on everything that we And I feel like we need to have the, you know, reaching out, touching. You. Yeah, no. Um, but no, so. so touching what? So what? from a. I was going Neil Diamond. Word. Sorry. Um, so from a, like a, a girl developer Forever perspective, so jeans. WordPress sold out, had a waiting list. What's com- and I, I just saw a note about something else. You have a waiting list for. So I mean, like, what's coming up that people can actually get into? So well, actually, the party. I mean, <laughs> yep, party. <laughs> <laughs> you can come Wait, to that party. <laughs> Mark that as except yeah, except me. I right, <laughs> except Bob. Bob's not 10, invited. 10, you can't come. <laughs> so the party is coming up. I mean, I believe there's spaces for Code and Coffee this weekend. In okay. Detroit. Um, we have Code and Coffee tomorrow in Royal Oak, so we're okay. expanding to the suburbs a little bit. Um, that one is sold out and has like a 20 person waiting list. Wow. Um. And then we HTML have and CSS. Is... We have an intro class this weekend. Yep, that has is spots it... available. Um, I think that's about it. How newbie do you can you be to get into your class? Just Total curious. Newbie. Total like, newbie. If you if you like don't like know how to turn your computer on, that's pretty much all we need. We can take it from there. Okay. So, so what are the next steps if somebody's going through one of your classes and they're like they know their stuff now? Are you mm-hmm. trying to partner with, or have you been approached by companies saying, "Hey, you know, you guys are producing well"? The next a bunch step is going to the Grand Circus classes so that Eric can get paid. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then they're. <laughs> I mean, Grand Circus actually is a, a logical next step because our classes are designed to be introductory. Like, they're not designed to take you from zero to developer. Right. Um, Grand they're Circus, things, you know, is yeah. more of an intensive, like, if you're interested in a career change, this is, you know, if you want to invest this time and this this money, like, you know, do it. Um, but, yeah, we have had a lot of requests from employers and occasionally requests from students as well saying, like, hey, I'm interested in getting into the field. Like, you know, can you hook me up with somebody? Um, so I actually I have a I have like a, a spreadsheet that's maintained of like students who have expressed interest. And so they say, like, here are my skills. I'm intermediate in this. I'm beginner in this, blah, 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 blah. I, this is what I'm looking for. And so whenever somebody now an employer emails me and says, I need somebody who does blah, 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 I can go in there, look and see, does anybody match up who'd be a good fit and do some introductions? Sounds so, awfully familiar. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> and I know we touched on this last time, but do you guys get any help or direction from the, the overall chapter, the, the nationwide chapter? Or are you on your own for all Metro Detroit needs and wants? And, and... Um, so there are you know, there are... Every other week, we have um, a Google Hangout where all the chapter leaders can get together and talk and, and you know, um, 
exchange ideas and that kind of stuff. Michelle is smirking over here. Just... <laughs> we we're kind of rebels. We kind of do our so own guys thing. Are doing and it works well. <laughs> Wait, people do Google Hangouts. I know I'm being serious. I didn't think that actually, that was... Actually, I've had a lot of meetings. Yeah, I've actually really? had a lot of clients that prefer Google Hangouts. 90% of my out. attempts fail and my, fr- my face just gets frozen in a weird expression and you just hear me talking. <laughs> so I've and stopped. I enjoy it, so it's fine. <laughs> That's outstanding. <laughs> yeah, right. I do WebExes all day. That's why I'm like, there's something, you know, I'm begging for something else. Well, it is yeah. kind of bizarre. I mean, some of my clients actually prefer Google handout- mm-hmm. Hangouts over Skype, which is, yeah, yeah it's interesting. Yeah. So um, anyways... But yeah, so I mean, we have the support if we need it. We can always email and say, hey, like we're stuck on this particular thing. Or but if someone has a curriculum for something that right. we're looking to. Um, for the most part, use. especially right. since it's now been a year and we've been doing this stuff, we've just kind of, you know, we have our own ways of doing stuff. We have, we now, um, we collaborate very much in You're leadership. teaching them, aren't you? <laughs> well, and, and let's, let's be honest, they have Kara Joe out in Boulder to worry about. Right. So. right, right. <laughs> who? Yeah, exactly. Who? <laughs> she's hey, coming back Kara for the Joe's party. Coming yeah, she's to the coming. Party. She is. She really? is. Yes. yes. Cool. And then leaving again. Yeah. Right. I know. Well, There's no mountains here. <laughs> Moving right. on. <laughs> <laughs> we were doing so well. Right. <laughs> um, but, you know, we've just kind of, you know, the five of us now, the five of us, which is awesome. Um, you know, when the issue comes up, we kind of talk about it, how to deal with it, and we sort of go forward from there. So We have really productive meetings each month at people's houses yes. that involve cheese and wine. And yeah, wine. I've, I've seen the say, posts yeah. about those, yeah. 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 <laughs> Mul- multiple <laughs> bottles of wine. I'm usually useless by the time I get there, and I just distract people. Yeah. Sounds, like our, <laughs> sounds like our strategy session. Yeah, that we have. Yeah. <laughs> sounds like this <laughs> show. <laughs> <I> was <gonna laughs> wasn't it like two hours ago and like five minutes ago? <laughs> right. <laughs> so, yeah, a different one of us hosts and is in charge of like facilitating the meeting each month, but the only rule is there has to always be wine and things have gone great so far good, good rule <laughs> it's not a bad rule wait your actual classes or the planning session no the Pla- planning <laughs> session right <laughs> that's what it says <laughs> <laughs> Well, and and Billy, you know, from your perspective, Uh-oh. I mean, so you know, Uh-oh. I know you're, I know you're still working with Tipsies. And he's love, actually working right now. <laughs> I know he is. I, I am. He's, he's making yeah. sure he's not tweeting from the wrong account right, right now. Yes. Um, you know, so like, what what's coming up with you? So you, you know, you just got back from LA and dealing with the clients out there. I mean, so what what's on the horizon for you? And, and uh, honestly, and how did the Savvy Kids consignment thing go? Savvy Kids consignment, um, we doubled again. Very so, cool. Yay. Awesome. Um, and, you know, a lot of the people were just like, this is an amazing concept. We didn't realize there was another way to do a mom-to-mom sale. And, you know, from a from my perspective, it's I know way too much about kids' clothing now. But, right. You know. Oh, it's uh, like me, you know, when I wound up working for a beauty industry distributor and I still have conversations with people. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I know that product and those flat irons. And the people are like, what's wrong with you? Yeah, it's yeah. just not normal. Right. Um, <laughs> yeah, so that... Yet another that trap between worlds thing that we, like we were talking about earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Don't cross the screen. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. Um, yeah, so anyhow, with the um, with me, with Social Coop, what we're, we're growing. Um, so we're going through some growing pains right now. We're up to... Five people, which is kind of cool and interesting when you're starting a company from scratch and just kind of finding our way. So that's it. That's really the only interesting thing. Mm, no, cool. And, and actually, like I, I really wanted to get your perspective on something, uh, you know, Michelle and Erica. So one of the topics that got thrown out there is there was a study uh, or a paper that somebody published that said basically women have a harder time networking than you know than guys do and jeff you know immediately threw back and i almost pulled up the sound clip and threw it in here where you were like oh my god i love going to networking events there's never a line at the ladies room that's right <laughs> <laughs> that, that's still that's still the the, the best one-liner from our it and the show ever well you know <laughs> um you know, Maybe it depends I, in the industry. Yeah, and also... It, like, well, and this and it, it was talking about IT. You know, uh, I mean, yeah, that's, that was, was, that was the about, whole shtick. Yeah, that was what made it so humorous for us. Um, I don't know that either of us really has a... It's, I mean, I think it's a skill like anything else, and I think you have to choose to practice it. I know we started doing Girl Develop It, like, the night before our launch party, I was, like, having a crying meltdown, like, I can't go talk to 70 strangers. <laughs> um, and obviously not. And then I couldn't so. find her, because she kept talking to all the strangers. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. 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 No, yeah. Again, don't we talk about networking is like dating, like, the girls, like, well, everyone needs to come talk to me, because I'm not I'm approaching anyone. Yeah, right. I'm, I'm leaving. No girls are talking to me. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, I think it's it's a hurdle to get over, like just walking up to somebody and be like, "Hey, I'm so and so, and I work for so and so," like or saying, "Hey, you should meet this person." So what do you do? Right. Well, but like, I mean, but that's personality one on one. I mean that that has nothing to do with gender. I mean, there right, there are exactly. plenty of guys that 
show no, but up I think, at our events. I think girls aren't, aren't, girls aren't used to well, you're talking approaching about the people. Factor. Yeah. Well, no, but no, I mean, no, well, like, girls can go to a bar and get 32 guys approaching them, and they don't. They have to do anything. That is accurate. So in networking, <laughs> the total the, the tides turn. So they, you know, now they, you know, the hunter becomes the hunted, and they. <laughs> The hunted becomes the hunter. So now they have to go into this. So no, but now they have to do the approaching, and it's not natural, right? Well, well no, it depends on the environment, though. I mean, so this is like a Sadie a, Hawkins dance? Right. Oh, boy. I was at like a radio event the other day. It was a lot of commercial Ladies radio choice. guys in suits. And I showed up, and I was clearly much younger than most people there, and one of very few women. Mm. It was a lot of white dudes in suits. And I was like, huh. I don't really feel like talking to people. I feel I a lot of places here. here. And it, which is the first thing that's happened in a while where I've kind of felt out of place at an event that's not So you, you're actually uncomfortable. Right. And you're well, I mean, I, got, I snapped out, out of, of it, door. but at first I was like, I'm not sure what I have in common with these people who look nothing like me and are dressed completely differently. It's funny. When I was 25 right, and right. starting the IT network for the first time, like when I'd walk into those events, it was like all a bunch of suits in their forties, and now I'm that guy. So now I'm like <laughs> my people. I'm finally. I've waited fifteen years. Except and still not suits. <laughs> now, now you're on your your no, own I'm talking worst like, enemy. <laughs> yeah, no. When I go to like to the things at Vegas, like the HP things, like it, it's crazy. The eight, you know, ten thousand people there. Eighty seven hundred of them are forty year old white guy with blue jacket, tan pants, br- tan white brown shirt, shoes, right? Yeah, yeah right. blue tie. Yeah. No, and it, like you know, so but one of the things that, and I think this is you know what what got one of the people in our LinkedIn group fired up was they said you know that women tend to network far more emotionally than than whereas it, like men do it logically. What does that mean? Well, no, that they they like, well ask them. What does that mean? <laughs> well, no. So what one of the premises was you know women basically were going. The, According to the study, because I don't want anybody lighting me on fire, um, you know that you know it was you know, women win. were looking for friends, or you know something as opposed to you know where men were going to these events and looking for you know find the need, kill the need, drag the need back to the cave. I mean, and it was a wo- and it was a woman who wrote the study, which was the weird part. I honestly, nice metaphor. And the woman just wanted to be held. <laughs> Why isn't he talking to me? <laughs> You know, so I have a rule that I always say yes to coffee dates, which is starting to ruin oh, my geez. life. I go on like three coffees with strangers every week. <laughs> 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 but no, really, because like, I love to meet new people. Um, roasting roasting plant downtown. I had coffee there for the first time. It's the best cup of coffee I've had in the States. Good stuff, it's right? Amazing. It is. Mm-hmm. Uh, and usually I'm like just black coffee. I'm, I drink coffee from Sitco gas stations. And I'm like, I just go, give me a black coffee. And she gives it to me. I'm like, no, no, it's got foam on top. I just wanted a coffee. She goes, no, no, just try it. Like this is anyway best cup of coffee I've ever had. So if you're down at the first national building in with Campus Marches with, with a stranger, yeah, thanks for the call. Go to the roasting plant. Thanks um, for the call, Bob. Yeah, anyways. but yeah, you know, I, I'm not really like I, I don't relate to somebody as like as an object to use for connections or for. But don't worry, else. guys have done that to me at events. Yeah, they'll right. have this whole conversation like we. There's no reason for us to really logically connect based right. our industries, and you are pushing way too hard to get well, my number. Well, like, yeah, I right. We had that with Melinda <laughs> Ann, where she thought she was going on a yeah, job shocker, interview. Right? Right. He thought yeah. he was on a date. Yeah, you know. So she thought you know that she was our guest a couple weeks ago, and she thought she was on a job interview, and she wants you know meet somebody for lunch, and they chat and they hang out, and she's like. We never talked about work. Like we never talked about it. And then, like yeah, at he the end, it was a date. And at the end of it, he was like, "Yeah, hey, thanks for coming out. I hope like you'll go out with me again." And she was like, "On what planet did you think?" <laughs> 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 I've never taken something that far, but there have been times where it's like very clear that that's why you're being targeted. Nice for the conversation, and it's just and like, that's just awkward. I mean, how yeah. how do you cut that off? I mean, no, so I, my pretend I like, see someone I know. And, and, I then, and you're out of there. And yeah. I've got to be leaving. Yeah. What a good no, idea. We get that. I we, suddenly have to go to the bathroom. We I'm out of here. We <laughs> haven't got it in a while, but there used to be guys that would go to our networking events with creepy the sole guy. purpose. Creepy guy. Yeah, creepy guy. Well, creepy guy showed up at her the recruiter's office like the next morning unbeknownst. Oh, yeah, and went well, yeah, wasn't that full-blown stalker, stalker that, mode. Yeah, that was stalker guy. Yeah. There was an oily weasel guy that was kind of just every girl's like, hey, yeah. you live alone. <laughs> was like, no, oh, so I really? wouldn't take the meeting unless there's an express purpose. Like, my group does this, your group does this. I think we could talk about X, Y, and Z. So right. that's you know it's got to be. But I think if you're, if, I mean, I think you and I are pretty outgoing, right? And kind of I mean, a good like BS people. detector. I like, I like stuff. Yeah. You if, like if stuff. Let's do stuff to something together. And they had one of these experiences initially. They might be a little bit. Well, well, yeah, stand you, off. you get like, burned, and you tend off. to stand. Yeah. yeah, I mean, and well, I mean, hell, even we've had that. I mean, you know, there are certain groups that we don't go near. Um, you know, anybody On that purpose. had. Yeah, I mean, you know, but even if you know, there's an affiliation somewhere, however loose and tenuous, we're like, yeah. No, I tried happen. that. That didn't work out well. Not going to do that again. Well, Sorry. we've been trying to do stuff where if we think there's an event coming up that people should go to, whether we have a presence or not, to let people know about it. So we say no that 
we're going to be there and we're encouraging women to go there because we think it's worthwhile and at least kind of change the ratio a little bit. But yeah, talking about the emotional thing, I guess when I think about it, honestly, like the connections that I've gained the most from where I've gotten jobs, all that kind of stuff has, has been friends, has been yeah. people that I cared yeah. about, had a relationship with. So yeah. like I would rather establish that kind of connection. Well, but I mean, we, that's, we, we, we met for lunch. Yeah, exactly. And we're friends. Yeah. <laughs> well, but I mean, you guys just met like a year ago, right? I think we were friends when you invited us to come on the show. Yeah, yes. Michelle and I actually we, we, had, had, a, your, we had a one year anniversary. We had a one year anniversary. Isn't right that there. networking one hundred and one though? No, really. Isn't that networking one hundred and one? Build a relationship. You, absolutely. Yeah, right. Yeah, you're going to I mean, do more you're, for you're people in it for you the, have a relationship. Yeah, with. you're in it for the long haul. If I'm walking you're into an event going, something. yeah, I need a client right now. I'm going to fail. Yeah, I, I need to make quota this month. Can you be my friend on Facebook so I can sell you something? I have a lot of connections, but like Mark Stanislaw introduced me to both of my jobs that I've had in tech, you know, so, and that's a friend that I've had since high school. So, you know, I really feel like. Which, yeah, right. so, so small world that totally made us I laugh know, when we were having drinks and talking about that. Now. Yeah, 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 he's, yeah, he's your work husband. <laughs> yeah. <much>. <laughs> you know, it's the creepy one, though, when you meet someone at a networking event and you give them your card and then they friend you on Facebook that night. That's weird. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Whoever told anyone that was a good idea. Yeah, Facebook stalking. Yeah, Some that's, that's social awesome. media guru. <laughs> right. That yeah. Said by all means, go become friends very, very quickly. Because yeah, no. Made a presentation immediately. And then slide immediately you know. get a LinkedIn connection request, a, yes. t- a Twitter follow, follow and yes. a Facebook like. <laughs> well, I could deal with the LinkedIn request. It's like the Facebook. Well, yeah. I mean, and even the Twitter yeah. follow. You know, oh, you, so you have a new follower on Instagram. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what Dave always says when you do the shifting gears. It's like Facebook. If it wouldn't be weird for you to be knock on my door, come into my living room, then we should be friends yeah, on Facebook. And, 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 and when I say that. Apply. I wouldn't think it would be weird <laughs> yeah. for you to show up in my living room. Not you wouldn't think it's weird. Yeah. I wouldn't right. think it's weird. Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty yeah. lax, but I, I'm pretty lax on Facebook friends for the most part. I'll kind of filter them out. But I mean, if we literally talk for a should minutes, I unfriend you then? <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> I can't believe Bob sent me a request. I, I don't see her sharing a bottle of wine with you, Bob. <laughs> yeah, no, no. I'm that guy. No, no. <laughs> Moonshine, maybe. Yeah, not I mean, wine. I was no. <laughs> no, but I mean, it's. It, I it, want it, some moonshine, by the way. Yeah, let's bring next that in. Time. Grandpa's moonshine. That's I know that's going to be. See, I, she was just setting the hook for the next appearance. Next that's time. all that was. <laughs> all right. What kind of you know moonshine? What, you know what? The, that's salesmanship mark 101. <laughs> right. Yeah. Always leave them wanting more. It's that's right. right. Arakia, Serbian. Mm. Oh. Yeah, there's two versions. There's a gentle one. There's the what did you just give me? It's not Shlivovitz. Like, it's it not like, Shlivovitz. Okay. I had that too. That stuff's like that's, toilet water. No. This oh, is, God, is that awful? This is worse. Really? It's, it's worse, worse than toilet water. It has flavor. This it does burns. not. It's got oh, kerosene. No. <laughs> can you can you light your throat on fire? No, we my um we used to have like Kruskovac and Slivovich on yeah. on the table at Christmas, and it's like it was almost like uh, do you want to get like shot or not shot? Like the one was like would you like to get shot or stabbed? <laughs> <Yes>. the, <laughs> the one was like you want sweet and harmless. No? <laughs> the one's like sweet and harmless. The other one's like literally getting punched in the gut with the worst thing you've ever tried in your life. And of course, like you always go for the you learn once and then never again. Right. So is that always the stuff that you break out at the parties that you're? I house do. You're I like, want to see the look on your face. <laughs> you know, nope. Nick, one of our girl development instructors, Nicole, just had her wedding at Quipos the other day, and they had um the stuff that has wormwood in it. Absent wormwood. Malord, Malloy. Have you never heard of it? No, never heard oh, of it. Oh man. And they they Bad told stuff? everybody they put it in champagne glasses like it was a toast. Well, yeah, I mean, oh wor- my god! Yeah, wormwood. That's absinthe. Yeah, but it wasn't absinthe. It was way worse. Really? I have, there is an Instagram photo of me making faces as I process the flavor in my mouth, <laughs> right. and it ends with my tongue sticking out of my mouth and me looking disgusted. Nice. So if you like, when we have people over at my house Ten, for the first time, two, um, <laughs> yeah. <Lord. laughs> no, if I have people over for the first time, I said you got to run the gauntlet, and I have like every German brandy schnapps. Nasty. You do the shot ski? Yeah, we do like, you know. Oh, I'll, no, it's the, you know, here, try this. Here, try this. Yeah, if you're still standing after 10 minutes, here, try this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You, you, like, basically, it's the, you get one shot every 10 minutes until you pass out, and then it's one every 15. And I go, here, yeah. try this. And I got the devilish look because I know you're going to hate me. Um, but you drink it anyway. How do we and start talking about this? I don't know. This is Moon, the fourth I, segment I, of my You ITV. bringing moonshine? <laughs> I'll be bringing yeah. moonshine. It All went right. to moonshine. So it, we should, I guess, before we wrap up here, we should talk about. So our next event is November twenty first. Already, it, we're getting damn close. Two weeks. Um, our next event is November. No, three, three weeks. Twenty yeah. first. Yeah. Um, we do have the thing on November fifth with the Great Lakes Technology Showcase down at Old Shillelagh. 
Uh, that's a Tuesday night, and it starts at eight o'clock. Um, huh? I'm going to be in Minneapolis. Oh, of course you will. Not be. that you care. Yeah, I can't make it either. <laughs> Great. So it'll be me. Thanks. Nope. <laughs> uh, and, and this is how Detroit net is run. Pretty much. Uh, yep. I'm going to yeah. come, and I'm going to tell Dave all my good stories. Awesome. All right, I'm gonna, Old Chalili, 8 o'clock. I'll be buying the shots. They All right. won't be meat sticks. All right. I'm going to be there then. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Suddenly, Steph, screw you. I'm out. Uh, no. So we've got, you know, so that's on the 5th, uh, Tuesday the 5th down at Old Chalili with the Great Lakes Technology Showcase. We've got our event on the 21st over at Falling Down Beer Company. Mark was in here last week with us. Great guy. Nine great place. One. Nine double IPA one, for everyone. Double Nine. IPA. That was outstanding And Ruben, Ruben Egg Rolls. Oh, I cannot wait for the Ruben Egg Rolls again. I, I wish they were open past 11 o'clock. We can go there, there before then. It's well, we could, not... but we never remember. <laughs> True. True. <laughs> That's yeah. part of the problem. Um, so, and the next girl development class that people can actually get into is this weekend. This There's weekend. still an intro class. And coding coffee it's in Detroit. So it's in its intro to HTML and CSS? Yes, that's correct. Okay, and it's where? It is that Atomic Object in okay. Detroit. They still love you guys, huh? Nice. They do. Oh, they're hanging in there with us. <laughs> awesome. Hey, everybody on Facebook is changing their picture profile picture to a giraffe. What's up with that? I, I, I don't. Oh, get what? Captain dra- social media. What's going on with that? Yeah. yeah so it's a. Can riddle? you explain that? Yeah. It's a oh, riddle. We're breaking news. <laughs> <laughs> a giraffe. Well, I saw that earlier today. I'm like, okay. yeah. Uh, one okay. guy did it, and then a couple other people. Did. I'm is like, a what? protest for Hangover Three? Is no. That- so there's a riddle going around, and if you answer the riddle wrong, you have to change your profile picture to a giraffe. But let me give you the riddle. What does so, the giraffe right, say? Here's the riddle. It's <laughs> all right. At three a.m., the doorbell rings and you wake up. Unexpected visitors. It's your parents. Sounds like friends of right. Wait, let, and him finish. let him finish. They are there for breakfast. You have strawberry jam, honey, wine, bread, and cheese. Yeah. Okay. What is the first thing you open? The door. No. Change your profile picture to a giraffe. Why? No. Have you met my parents? Nobody. What? Nobody. I'll give you the answer. Three. A- your eyes, because it's three a.m. There you go. How, how do you know? You know what, it's what, if, I, yeah, what, if, not what if I'm still awake at 3 a.m. in the door? Yeah, I was going to yeah, say, okay. Bob, Bob's still at Muldoon's. It's not a perfect <laughs> world. It's real. It's not a good one. It's, it's not a good one. your giraffe. I'm but gonna... <laughs> I mean, look. Can I change my new account? I, I, you know what day That's is? why Facebook is going down to tubes. Exactly. Because of crap like that. Yeah, that's why we can't have nice things. There's too much consuming going on on Facebook now. Yeah. So anyhow, I just thought I'd share that with you. Give you guys a so, little bit so of that's why break. the whole giraffe thing is going I, on. I, I, I thought curious. there was going to be like a slacktivism tied to it. Like, no, I support it. So well, what, if you, well, well, what if you solve it right? What do you do? You keep your profile picture. Good lord! Like, well, pride in that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, well, yeah, but Billy, how? how yeah, so all the how people that, that never heard of it get the same cool prize I did. <laughs> you get That's a participation good. trophy. <laughs> right. Yeah, you, yeah, you get a yeah, you get a red ribbon. So. I got a ribbon. So how how did you hear about that? Like, did somebody like word of mouth outside of Facebook tell you, or well, how does something like that even? Happened. Yeah, I, I assumed it was the whole. I like it on the floor. I like it on the kitchen counter, and it was the whole. Where do women what? keep that their purse? Nine <sighs> fifty. That is <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. So when I see things like that going on, I just do a quick Google search. Ah, uh, Google the answer to everything. That is right. Exactly. Yes, yes. I mean, that's, so that's the modern day Oracle, right? <laughs> Well, that's you know that's what you know. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? You're taught only me. as smart as good as I mean, you're only as smart as your ability to search. Right. Amen. You know, I, Amen. Yeah. If you're, good, sir, if you're good at googling, are you yep. smarter than a fifth grader? Taught me how little I actually needed to retain. Like I don't need to know how many teaspoons are in a cup. Why I have Google. Google <laughs> knows that answer. I don't need to know that answer. And change your profile picture to giraffe. Her, I will not right. be changing my profile picture to giraffe. It's not going to happen. I'm going to change my profile picture to MC Humpty. Can people stop? And you know what? And with Facebook, stop using your threads as message form questions like, I'm eating a chocolate chip cookie. What's your favorite cookie? And it's like you're engaging your audience with questions, oh, and, and it drives more, me nuts. Like, and I'm, I'm trying hey, really hard not to unfriend people. Because you tell people to do you tell people to do Please don't tell people no, to do that. No, I'm, no, I'm trying yeah, really hard yeah, not to unfriend people. Food. No, I'm trying really hard not what? to unfriend people that are following for the whole, I bet you can't name a city that doesn't oh. have an A in it. Yeah, right. Yeah. Really? This is not 20 questions. Well, right. They're marketing traps. They yeah. sell that crap. It's, it's a so trap. stupid. <laughs> it's a trap. <laughs> Oh, yeah. well, damn it, sadly, so we're, we are. Oh, we're up against we the break. Can we just go so over this we time? Just, <laughs> we'll just, come on, let's just we'll go just over. bribe Karen and keep rolling. Can I just yeah. uh, post a picture of food? No. Absolutely. Now, only no. if you ask uh, Oreos, Slim yeah. Jims. 
I mean and, steak. And, and, and Bob's tiny meat stick. What's <laughs> your favorite meat? <laughs> Can we, yeah, I suppose we should just take a picture for comparison purposes. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's Karen's show. You, you, you need to be here at 7 o'clock. So we are at itandthed.com no or detroitnet.org. Uh, you can find Girl Develop at Detroit at G-D-I-D-E-T. G-D-I-D-E-T. Dot com. Shrinkage. Uh, and it's, at, it's GDIDetroit.com, and on Twitter, we're at GDIDET. Okay. Yep, or Google us. Yeah, exactly. Google. Which way, yeah, yeah, yeah that, that'll be the well, true you'll test. You'll find everything. Right. Just, or, don't, just don't Twitter yourself. <laughs> right. And social media co-op no, Detroit. Yeah, social. Coop. 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 Sorry. Social. Coop. C-O-O-P. Media.com. Okay. Uh, this is the IT and the D-, D show. Do your thing. <laughs> what did you I, say? M- Mr. Nixer. Mr. Pernerd. Beat it. I Beat totally it. Mr. Pernerd it. Thank, thanks for joining us. Poo poo. Have a Beat great it. week. I am Frau Blucher. The emergency destruct system is now activated. Look out, Flash! Flash! Don't move! Stay where you are! Long live Flash! You've saved your ass. Have a nice day. My shoes cost more than your house. Can you dig it? Can you dig it? Can you dig it? I have come here to chew bubble gum and kick ass. And I'm all out of bubble gum. We gonna do what they say can't be done. We've got a long 